Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Kippy Tesla, and welcome to episode two of Chrono Cross. Stranger in a Strange Land. <laughs> we... I love these titles sometimes. Sometimes it's easy to make them, sometimes it's just not. But this one was pretty easy. <laughs> I'm glad that's the that's the that's how it is. Same for you, sis. It's for a reason. <laughs> I love it so much. So, uh, what happened yesterday? Well, not much actually. <laughs> it was just the tutorial and intro. Our main character was asleep. Well, slept in actually. He was late uh, meeting with his girlfriend, so she was tasked with a chore to uh, keep an eye on the kids in the village. And she sent him to pick up some scales, Komodo dragon scales no less, uh, from a nearby place, let's say. What, what the hell was that even? Coral reef? I don't know. And uh, we did that. And afterwards, well, we had to <laughs> kill three Komodo dragons. Kill their mother that came to protect them, which is kind of brutal when you think about it. And... Uh, after that, we met with our girlfriend on the beach, on a beach, where we fainted, kinda, and woke up and are now heading home. It was weird though, we kinda fell through the sand, but probably nothing, just people, it happens to people, they faint on a, on a... Yeah, there was, no, it's not a random person, I think of one of those people who, who we met in the in the village, uh, one of the, one of the, it was either a granny or a grandpa, I'm not entirely sure, but, uh, <laughs> Ultima 9 style, but, uh, anyway, they didn't seem to recognize us, which is interesting, so, yeah. Oh yeah, our girlfriend just disappeared, our, our <laughs> dog that is now our party member, with dog with three tails, two or three tails, two I think, yeah. And a weird padlock on his. This is a this is a lovely world, fantastical world. <laughs> yeah, you literally fell asleep just before the big thing happened. So I ended the stream mostly for that reason. Uh, soon after, we're about to go back home, and we're gonna see that things are not. That's Nikki. We're gonna we're gonna have to compose a fucking rock opera in this. Organize everything as, about, as far as I remember it. No, that was six. That's oh, that was Oprah, but this is a rock opera. <laughs> it's gonna be a good song. Yeah, you don't compose it. You you just you just yeah, there was a play. You just you participate in it. You don't. So in in six, you have to learn the lines and do them correctly as the opera is happening. In nine. It's just, you do it, kind of, at the start of the game, well, it's but then, it's still hard. yeah, it, I mean, the, 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 the battle part is kind of hard, and here, it's, it gets even more batshit crazy. <laughs> uh, we were at this place, but The Rock said, um, Surge and Lena forever, or something like that. It did not say this that we're seeing now. But it says died at age 7. How could that be? <laughs> Look at me being all like, I'm not spoiling this game. Well, uh, Carter's not here. Yeah, Carter is not here. Lupka also doesn't want it spoiled, which I like. Because if you spoil something like this, if I tell you everything now, there's, there, there's no wonder of like, oh, did it just happen? It's like, yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. Well, it's, those are not spoilers, actually. Only the punchline is spoiler, nothing else. Everything else is just more confusing. Yeah, it does get more confusing over. <laughs> no, you shut up. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. Let's get let's get back into it. Continue slot one and save two. Nothing has changed, but everything. I wonder where's John? Where's my guide? Are we on the old art style? Yeah, after the stream yesterday, we tested 
both our styles and uh, and uh, the new one just doesn't work it's it's, it's this one's more pixelated way more pixelated but you don't see it if you're looking it through the innocent eyes of a child <laughs> it just looks very nice well the new one is they upscale it I guess they used an AI to upscale it and it just I don't like it really I don't like even the character art I'm okay with the broken low poly look of the PlayStation one that's how I played this game Yeah, I, I, I somehow expected him to be here, I don't know why. But yeah, he'll see that I'm online, don't worry. So this was the beach where we met with our girlfriend. Well, where Serge met was... I, I roleplay these games, I like I like roleplaying games, obviously. So I kind of put myself in the shoes of the protagonist. I'm like, yeah, we were there, like, me and him, we were there yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, Lena. We, were, we came here to give her, give her the, the Komodo Dragon Scales, and she was talking about... She was asking, do you remember that time where we were kids? And I was like, yeah, I totally remember. I could have said no, I don't. But John advised, you know, go with yes. I would have gone with yes because, like, again, in character. <laughs> but it turns out it's important. I didn't know that. For something later, if you want to recruit her. For now, let's get back to our new village. She gets the best magic stack. Yeah, Alina. Also, remember Lizard Rock where you fell asleep, sis? It didn't have these dancing piranhas going in the circle. Comanche? Yeah. Oh, you mean Korcha. <laughs> Korcha. Oh, there's 45 people we can meet in this game, Lyubka, that we can. So normally RPGs, JRPGs, you have like maybe the ca a cast of nine is already like nine people in your party or like nine people that you can put in your party is already a lot. Which intro? Ah, yeah, yeah, the Korcha was with us. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I get what she's asking. But that's one of the possibilities. So that the, the, the opening of the game was something that happens way later. It was, I guess it was a dream he had, a premonition. Uh, but no, we, do, we don't have to meet any of those. You don't even have to meet Kid here and recruiter you don't have to no it's just it's just showing me like the future one of possible futures basically so when i really get there in game so let me spoil it a bit for you well, it's just time it's not really a spoiler but that's the location we were in in the dream that tower there surrounded by volcanoes uh when we get there in the actual game we could be with like completely different characters it was just game you know one of possibilities yeah yeah all right, let's get back into the village. So right off the bat, I remember when I came back, I was like, why is the music different? Who changed the music when I was gone? Was it you? Was it you? Did you change the music? I hope you didn't for your sake. The other one was better. This one's too sad. What about what about that kid there? Did you change the music? Speak to me, kid. Nah, they didn't change the music. Well now, you're an army. What brings you to this quiet seaside village? There isn't much excitement here, but please relax and stay a while. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> Is Danny there? Because he would recognize that quote. <laughs> so they don't recognize me. I think that's the person that uh, came to the beach and said, Hey, hello there. Hey, stranger. No, hey, hey, stranger. Do you know what popular what's popular among the village girls these days? Bracelets made from rainbow shells. I want to get some for Kiki, but those shells are so hard to find. Oh no! If I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, am I in a fix! <laughs> so he doesn't recognize me either, and uh also, different thing is popular with girls. What is going on here? Almost as if it's not the same place I left. Hello, can I interest you in something? I have some great elements. Would you like to take a look? Hello, thank you. Show me your elements. Show me your weapons armor. Uh, elements. Sure, just one second. Hehehe. <laughs> 
stay a while and listen. So do we have any of these? Fireball Aqua Beam. Do I want that? Yeah, I fucking want that. Uh, at least one. Medicine. How much are they? Oh, 15. So, yeah, let's take... 10 of those. It's gonna be... In yeah, that'll be cool. Let's see. How many cures? Tablets do I have? 16. Let's take... Yeah, let's take 10. 10 of those and 10 of those. There we go. Just so we can cure poisons and shit. Uh, nothing to sell for now. But let's see if they have something. Ah. Speak to me, woman. Forge weapons. Can I make any weapon? Oh, apparently I can make... Wait, a spatula? Who's that for? Ivory dagger and a spatula. So different weapons are available. Do I want it? I don't know if I want it for now, so I'm not gonna make anything. How about these young ladies here? Looks like it's gonna be another scorcher today. It hasn't rained in quite a while. I don't know how much longer us old timers can stand this heat. By the way, I wonder if those knights are still digging that hole. I don't know what those Termina Knights are up to. I hear they're digging up Fossil Valley. I'm sure General Viper has a good reason. But why would they want to dig up a place like that? Oh, is that a different? Yeah, that's also different. <laughs> good thinking, but I, I think it's... No, it's another cook person we can recruit. Okay, yeah, we'll talk to them. Can we start a talk to another person? Apparently, yeah. Oh, no. Have you heard anything about the El Nido Triangle down south? Everyone says it's really creepy over there. Some say you can hear strange voices. Some even claim to have seen a huge glowing egg down at the bottom of the sea there. I tell you, adults are so superstitious. They try to act all tough, but this kind of stuff scares them. Hmm, so you say. Uh, I just haven't been able to hit a big one lately, you know. I'm not really concerned about the money or profit. I just have the surge for a challenge. Come on, baby. I know you're out there. I need some excitement. Give me a big catch. So that's the guy who caught the fish. Apparently he didn't catch anything. Oh, hello there. Oh, hi. Are you new here? Lena? I think she's on the pier babysitting. She shouldn't be on the pier. Are you a friend of Lena's? Yes, I am. What was it? Oh, hydrate. Thanks, sis. <laughs> then I shall make voices like this one. That is more natural. I guess. This year's Viper Festival is gonna be some event. They're doing they're gonna have a famous traveling band here. You see that poster over there? He's the lead guitar guitarist and vocalist of the band. He dresses flamboyantly, but he drives the women mad, young and old. He puts on a powerful show too. Yo, stranger, have you heard anything about the group of thieves up on the mainland? Uh yes I have. Yeah, I guess news travels fast, even down here on the islands. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. Bunch of show-offs. They're no different from psycho killers. So many freaks out in the world these days. I guess it's just a sign of the times. Did you just say no different from psycho killers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lady looking at Nikki's poster now. Huh. Okay, that was... uh, and in the, uh, before it was Mickey. Yeah. The, the lady of the band, remember? Yeah. Hamina, Hamina, what a hunk! This here is Nikki from the Magical Dreamers. As luck would have it, Nikki is holding a concert in the port town of Termina. There, there is a he heaven on earth. It pays to live to an old age. I can't believe I am actually going to be able to hear Nikki's beautiful voice. Whoa, stranger! Don't tell, don't tell Gramps about this. <laughs> okay, Granny. <laughs> Keep your fantasies. They have a cat, not a dog. 
Yep. Hi there. Haven't you seen? Haven't seen you around before. Are you from Termina? So how it's go? How's how's it going over there? I bet everyone's really excited about the Viper Festival. What? My poems? What are you talking about? I gave up on on them ages ago. It was just a stupid dream I was obsessed with. I never did have any talent. But how do you know about that? Nobody knows about my poetry. It really doesn't matter anymore whether I'm not whether I'm writing poems or not. Nobody would give a hoot about someone writing poems in a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere, huh? But just remember, dreams do come true. Humph. Do you honestly believe that? We live in the middle of nowhere in this tiny village leading small lives. Nothing's ever gonna change, no matter how hard you try. That's just the reality of it all. Oh, wait. Are, are <sighs> not supported? Yeah. A lot of things are gonna be different. I guess. No answer. It's just a pot. So do I interact with the pot again? Okay, pot. Show me your secrets, pot. What do you want already? I said I'm just a quote-unquote pot. <laughs> Fine. Just take it, man. Here. A nice lance. Cool. Cool, Mr. Pot. It seems to be just a pot. Hello, young man. What can I do for you? Hmm? What happened to the cook that speaks funny, you ask? Oh, you mean my lesser half, my husband. He went on a journey to brush up on his cooking. I have no idea where he could be. So I think we can recruit him in this world and we're gonna get... He's gonna use the ladle. Oh yeah, she did meow. She did meow. She wants attention. She's like, don't look at the screen, look at me. Lie down, kitty. Yeah, see? You have enough room. She wants the whole lap for herself. Lazy much. Right? Meow. Meow. Yeah, she wants me to flatten myself so she can lie comfortably. There you go, you happy? You little creep. There you go, kitty. Yeah. That's partial. My, it's my, it's fighting with me. I recruited it, but giving it a bone. There it is. Build roly poly. Dominant paw unknown. Cause yeah, everybody has a dominant hand. He's right-handed. Build ordinary. You can see their weight in pounds, though, and height in inches. But still. I, I have no idea what that means. Type? Five foot seven. There's no, There's no blood type. Oh, man. Seventeen male from Arnie. Silent protagonist. He is a silent protagonist, yeah. And Poshul is the wonder dog. Her age is unknown. From Arnie, three foot eight, twenty six pounds. That's what thirteen kilos. That's a that's a huge dog. That's a huge dog. Roly poly. <laughs> I like that. But yeah. So how does it look now? Let me see. That's what I, I today we're streaming in 60 frames per second because I can see the game can actually pull it off. So I was like, why not? It will look better, and I think it does look better. It looks smoother. Same bitrate, only you know more frames. All right. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> Fantasy creatures. Granny? The piers up ahead. Listen, don't be doing any mischief to them dog boats. A boat is like a limb to our fisherman. But I guess outsiders like you wouldn't understand. Hey, you, what do you mean outsiders? Lena! Where the fuck are you, Lena? Yippee! I said it's hippie, and remember it, you brat. Lena. Lena? Lena? So nice, so this is where you were. How could you just reverse and go back on your own? Go back on my own? 
what are you talking about, Poshul? And who are you? Have we met before, somewhere before? Are you from Termina? Pashu, what are you saying, Lena? Hey, yeah, you! Who's screaming? Don't be trying to pull any moves on our Lena, you jerk! Oh, it's a kid. <laughs> Don't be silly. Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha! Kids, I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. Hmm, you know, you look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. Which question should I ask? I'll take it. Okay. What was his name? Why? Why do you want to know his name? That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened 10 years ago. Soon after, his mother passed away too. It, I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well, but my mom says his name was Serge. Now we have two Oh, she said second. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, the chat's always a few seconds later. I'm Serge. Or did that's nonsense. I'm Serge. What? You're Serge? Oh, stop that. That's not even funny. The boy is dead, don't you understand? That boy. I guess I kind of liked him. If that boy were still alive today, I wonder what it would have become of us. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Serge is gonna come back. Mom always tells me I, should dwe I shouldn't dwell on lost loved ones. <laughs> You can find his grave up on Cape Howell. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew, blew up at you like that. I didn't give her a squeaky voice. Goodbye, stranger. What? <laughs> The tranquil sound of the waves does, does it to me every time. It makes me so sleepy. I bet the lullaby we heard in our mother's wombs was kind of like this. One day we will all return to the mother she, embraced by her lullaby. So that's it. Saying I'm dead. So your house. Yeah, we're going to check my house. This can't be true. Mom. Mom! Well, no, I just fainted on the on the sand. Something started happening around me and I fell down on my knees and I woke up and Lena was gone. That's her house, huh? This is my house. Keep out and beware of mad Hecarnth. Me have embarked on a wrong journey. Please do not come rooking for I. Okay, Scoob. Is there anything now here? No. I'm gonna check things out now in every house. <clears throat> Kitty. That reminds me. The boy who lived next door was terrified of cats. But that was more than 10 years ago. That boy was attacked by a panther demon when he was very young. I guess it left an emotional scar. Poor, poor boy. No one ever imagined such a tragedy would take place several years later. What tragedy? Greetings, Shani. You're a new face in this village. A friend of Lena, perhaps. 
You'll find Lena out there on the pier, baby shitting. She's baby shitting? Are you shitting me? Hey John! Welcome, welcome to the stream. Yep. Alt alternate uh, reality. Alternate timeline, let's say. Wait. I met... You met... Oh, you made it. I was like, you're mad at it? Alright, Johnny boy. You fell asleep and had a dream about your friend driving a motorcycle while you flew a stepladder through the air. Was it because you couldn't find your real ladder? <laughs> no, really, how does a stepladder fly? <laughs> That's cool. That means a creative brain. Silly dreams are the best dreams. So there's nothing in this house. Mom! We got a. I, I, I actually mistake. Got into wrong house. This is my house. Mom! Mom! They're telling me you're die. Oh, what the fuck? Poshu. The room looks different. Shoo, Sergipu. Shoo. <laughs> Mama Sergipu, did you redecorate? It looks a little depressing. Hmm, it does look a little depressing. Pet paint flying of the legs paint <laughs> like as a jet propulsion jesus christ it's a demon chihuahua what's wrong with my house this isn't my house we have burglars mom pashu rook right third fifth room redecorated too it kind of looks like a junk room. It throw nothing here. Lights, please. Whoosh. The fuck did you do to my room? What are you doing here, man? This is my island. Well, I'll let you rest here for a while. A little while, man. So, do you want to rest, man? Nah, forget it. Where's my mom? Mom! I don't remember. Yeah, Magma Bomb. There you go. I remember this one. Final Fantasy VIII taught me to look around the corners. Touch everything. Don't close it. Yeah, if, if I miss something, please let me know. <laughs> what the hell? Huh? Who the... What are you doing in my house? My house isn't the playground for you kids, alright? Go play outside. Huh? Who are you, mister? This is 30 Pooh's house, isn't it? Where's Mama 30 Pooh? Huh? Who? Marge? Who the heck's that? I've lived in this house for five years now. Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. For five years? Is that true, mister? Poshu! This is really, really weird. Whatever with all your gibberish, man. Just get out of here. I guess in this world, hippies invaded Arnie. It's like everyone's stoned out of their minds. Man, where's my mom? I said I don't know. Jeez, you're such a pest. I've never heard of any Surge or Marge, okay? Maybe you hit your head or something? No, you hit your head. Get out of my house. Yeah, we're doing full RP here. <laughs> Save time? I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I spoke to her and to the pot. <laughs> I was here already. I just wanted to talk to Lena first before I go to... Was it here? Da nisam, a, nisam namestio i ne mogu da namestim da čujem i jedno i drugo. Zato. Nisam imao vremena da se bavim time danas pre posle. Da! I found a tablet. 
It's a it's a cat. So cats and dogs have swapped places in this place. That's a good. That I think that's a pretty good uh, way to show the contrast. Where there were cats, there are dogs now. Are you following me, kitty? Is it following me? Yep, it's following me. And then washing its face. Look at it. It's cute. Uh, you don't mind that I have a dog here, do you? No, don't turn around. I want you to face the audience like that. Yeah, there you go. It doesn't matter where I go. It'll it'll turn towards me after a few seconds. Hey, <laughs> adorable. So yeah, I did speak about her, and she was like, "What poems?" And her boss is supportive now. Yeah, that's her. Sorry, I'm just gonna walk out of this conversation. Woo! All right, some foods. Let's get in here. Yeah, I got I got that as well. The pot, mind you, it has quote quotation marks. <laughs> Oh, hello, Granny, Grandpa. I can't comprehend my son anymore. He hasn't worked in years. There was a time when he had his heart set on becoming a man of the sea, just like his old man. But look at him now, praying to that silly-looking doll day and night. What has gotten into him? Okay, let's find out. The, the, comrade. Oh, you can't, I was like streaming what for? A few minutes. Well, not really. Jesus, it's already been 47 minutes. Can't believe time flies when we're playing this. Uh, I, I finished work just almost just before the stream. I was sitting. I wanted to play something to like rest a bit, rest my mind, just play something solo. And I just I just sat here in the chair and looked at the turned off TV. I was like, this is also rest, you know. I'm gonna do this, and then. I was very close to, I was thinking like, should I even do this tonight? I feel kind of dead, but now that I started doing it, I feel refreshed. Why am I doing this voice? Why? I was listening to Master Roshi today, trying to memorize his voice and his speech pattern. You don't, you don't have that perfect vibe. <laughs> hey, Master Roshi is the master, don't... <laughs> no master his turtle is the best no master that's <laughs> oh that's why you couldn't fly on your cloud <laughs> 10 years ago my husband's friend lost a son the boy drowned at sea at the tender age of seven and soon after the boy's parents passed away too such a sad turn of events that's when my husband changed never did I imagine he would end up like this his way of life has changed completely. Okay, so I guess my parents died too. Daddy always spends his time downstairs. He won't play with me. And he gets real mad if I go down there too. He didn't used to be like that. I think he doesn't like me anymore. Aww. That's adorable. Poor kid. <gasps> oh yeah, why does this have... <gasps> I get it now. I understand. There's a Triforce on the on the floor as well. I guess Hyrule invaded in the meantime. So remember what this guy had originally? Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Our spent yesterdays are on our uncertain tomorrows. How we live a meaningless today. This holy item filled with prayers protects us and supports us. Come, my brother, let us play, play. Let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. 
Where can you find true love and peace of mind? Within Mojo. He more said it like, Within Mojo! Hey, pussy. Pussy. You received the sacred Lickaroo from Licky the Cat. <laughs> screenshot that shit. I said screenshot game. Whoop. Oh wait, I have a screenshot button now. I keep forgetting. Yeah, I did, Lupka. I'm just, I'm just in character. <laughs> I know this game. <laughs> Not. Okay, that's even better. One more screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> that was totally Chrono Cross. You felt a beam of light from Lasery the cat. Not. What the fuck is up with the cats? You felt an aura of longevity from Ori the cat. Not. Where is Sasha now? She's missing this. Love! No answer. It seems to be just a straw doll. Oh yeah, can I give? <gasps> yeah, I remember. I'll come back here in a, in a jiffy. In a moment. Uh, it's interesting. I wonder, um, John, why is this? I, I think it's because of Mojo. Just let me know, yes or no. Is that the music here is now different. Let's. It has the music of the Earth Dragon Isle, right? See, can't get it until after you wake up. What? What is it? Wait, this? The, no, this is the Dragon Isle music, I'm pretty sure. The Hydra Marshes has that hippie vibe to it. Greetings, fellow time travelers, and from history aboard paradoxes. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We're in another timeline, and everything's different. People are depressed because I apparently died when I was seven. I drowned and then my parents died. And that had a ripple effect just in this village. We have no idea what's going out on in the outside world, but yeah. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you, Carter. Welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's that's on the Earth Dragon Isle. Wait, do I, do I wake him? No, wait, that's not him. There's something... There's something she, Poshul, I think she can dig up as a party member. It's been a long time. Sasha's not coming. We'll we'll get back here later. Let's check another house. So they're all depressed. Uh, who didn't we check? Master Roshi, I mean our Radius. Yeah, I was just... So, one thing I wanted to say today, and... <laughs> so, one thing I wanted to say today, to John, actually, if you didn't, John, watch Dark, because... Well, it's a great show, but it's interestingly... I feel like a good chunk of its plot was influenced by this game. I don't want to say much more, because I will spoil, e spoil either the game or, or the show for people. But, you know, it's not the same, but it's heavily influenced, so... Pretty sure, like, I'm 80% on that, which is a lot. So, yeah. John and everyone who hasn't seen Dark, check it out. You're a new fish around here. We don't get too many visitors. My name's Ganji. I'm the chief of Arni. Why don't you stay and rest a while? So it's not even Radius, it's, it's a new guy. Can't offer any extravagant entertainment, but make yourself at home. You just finished the boys. What's the boys? Oh, nice. Cool. <laughs> yes, you came. You want to see the chief, huh? Radius? Who's that? Ganji is our chief. There's no one by that name here. You must be mistaken. Oh, Wait, we're missing. Yeah, this. this. <laughs> You're a strange one. What are you staring at the wall for? The, the big it's just. There. Yeah, it's just your everyday wall. 
Our chief doesn't like hanging stuff from it. Because it's a different. Like stuff and there's another Another tablet, nice. That's right. The record of fate records everything for us, good or bad. So when the time comes for us to bid a door, a deal, our our life story will live on in the record of fate. Think about how terrible it would be if you left this world with no record of your existence. Like in real life. <laughs> The only things he, the record of fate doesn't touch upon are birth and death. I don't mind, really. I don't think I really want to know. More importantly, what should I see first at the Festival of Termina? Should I go catch Nikki's concert? The mermaid dance show? Hmm, what to see? Every time I come to a decision, I always wonder what would have happened if I had decided the other way. Maybe I should have done this instead of that. Maybe I made the wrong decision. But luckily we have record of fate that tells us exactly what choices to make. I can't imagine life without it. Every day would be filled with anxiety and fear. No cutting in line. Back in line. Okay, okay. Calm down, Jesus Christ. Did the raider Rapper in the forest made sense. Oh, I actually, uh, I read about it. It's the German version of a popular candy. It was called of a candy we all know, but it's it was called differently in Germany. I actually checked that because I was like, what the hell? In dark, in dark. I don't remember. Yeah, we we checked it. You just forgot. Yeah. Dark, two years ago. Two years ago, right? Mm -hmm. wow. Also, I just checked today, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, it's almost, in a month, it's going to be two years since we bought L.A. Noir because we liked some mm -hmm. review of it and we wanted to play it. We didn't touch it. Two years. Life just flies uh, when you're busy. About it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> just between you and me, our chief, Ganji, is really stingy. I can't cook a decent meal if I don't have fresh quality ingredients. And then he complains about how terrible the food tastes. I can't stand it. I won't. Twix. Yeah, Twix. That's right. Yeah, but that's why. That's why because, yeah, I'm not going to spoil it for people. But, uh, yeah, just watch Dark. <laughs> I, I want to talk about both that show and this game, but oh, it's... I remember now. Yeah, I remember. Oh, my... That's oh, how they knew God. something was off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's okay, love. People forget. Oh. <laughs> I love the depth per uh, perception. This look. Yeah. Yep. It's actually far away. We. I'm coming back now. I want to go. So do you remember the guy who was a fisherman and he gave me a tooth. The, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I went to talk to him, but you missed that part. He's totally no. religious now, and uh, I didn't give him the tooth. I wanted to wait for you, but yeah, he's totally religious. Uh, his father is like, "What is wrong with my son? He used to oh, want to be." The one not working yeah. Okay. The 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 girl thinks her dad doesn't does like her. Wow. Here, I'll try to talk to him. The music changes. Yeah. He steps into. He stands in the trifers. Ah. It's it's a shortened it's a bridged version of the dialogue but take a look. Uh -huh. He was like, "Come pray with me, brother." Or maybe he says that again. Yeah, it's the bridged version. Uh, wait, that's that's the one from from the main venue. Yep, you can now. you can actually recruit it as a playable character. <laughs> now. Not now, later. Come, my brother, let us pray together. He actually changed because Serge, Serge died. So Serge died, his parents died after that, and uh, it like so left a butterfly effect. Our father's friend. That's the one that changed, right? No, that's his not the same. Was, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he did change, but that's he's one of the friends of our father. Yeah. 
And also this. You can't. Nikaru! Nikaru! And the other one has a, has an aura. There. And now we can give this to him. Oh, meme from Elio Noir. Okay, thanks, man. And yeah, Nana songs as well. <laughs> we call it Nana. I'm pretty sure Germans say Nana as well. Shark tooth. This is a tooth shark from a ferocious lion shark. And look at the size of this thing. Judging from the size, this baby must have been a good 15 feet. Don't tell me you're the one who caught it. Uh-uh. What? What did you say? Another me? So, the other me who became a fisherman asked you to give this to me. What are you talking about? That's enough. There is only one me. How can there be another me out there? Sure, there was a point in my life when I thought about becoming a fisherman. That was a good 10 years ago. But I couldn't do it. I gave up that path right then and there. I just gave up. I don't care what you say. This is the path I chose, and I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now, would you please put that thing away and leave me alone? <laughs> hey, hey, Gramps. Welcome, welcome to the stream, Gramps. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is our friend. From around roundish parts. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by, Gramps. Good to see you. Yeah, it is Nana. Now say Volkswagen. Volkswagen. We just say Volkswagen. <laughs> Gramps made it. Some Gramps totally made it to the stream. Someone toots their uphorn. <laughs> you and your uphorns. Alp horn. Oh. A horn. From Alps. Wait. Of Alps or from Alps? Which one was it? A horn found on Alps? I love insulting people and ice cream. Wait. Lo do you love insulting ice cream or do you love ice cream? No, he didn't take the tooth, Lyubka. It was just like... We just shattered his mind, probably saying him, Hey, I came from another dimension where you actually had a kind of life you wanted, so of course he wouldn't accept that. Gramps! Keyboard is bad. <laughs> so, welcome to the stream, Gramps. This is your first time here. I'm gonna call you Gramps in English. I, I hope that's, that's okay with you. And if not, well, tough shit. <laughs> I always give my ice cream a piece of my mind every day while I cry. <laughs> Should I laugh or, or or cry at that? I don't. I'm not sure. I'm on the verge of both. <laughs> well, do you have ice cream? Do I have? Yeah. Wait. This is the Chrono user universe. It's ice cream. Remember that, okay? We learned that in the Middle Ages. <laughs> Thanks for following, Gramps. Appreciate it. Oh. The sound they make is boring. Uh, that's that's how I imagine it. <laughs> that's how I imagine it, sir. So, wait, I gotta see my own grave, love. No, no, you're we're about to see it. So, yeah, let me get Gramps up to speed. Basically, Gramps, what happened in the game, aside from the kick-ass music, this game has the best soundtrack ever, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinion. Um, what happened was, very short version, 
one day I came back from a beach and people are like, you're not that guy, that guy died when he was seven, so stop tricking us, go, 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 shoo you little scamp. So yeah, it's a very abridged version. Yeah, it's got a best soundtrack, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go. So, so Lena told us go check his grave on Cape Howell. Last time we were here, so Lena's our girlfriend, right? Um, well, she, she, she said check that place. And last time we were here, uh, we found. Well, there was just a rock that said Surgeon Lena forever. Electro jolt. Okay, yeah, that will be that will come in handy. And another one of these. A bone. I got a bone to pick with ya, you beach bum. Let's kill one of them. Let's see if we can get any start. Start grows. Yeah, you do that while I kill two beach bums. <laughs> Opinion incoming. <laughs> uh, let's use it as a punching bag again, yeah. I said hit. Oh, it's its turn. It's my turn again, okay? Yeah, let me click. Let me cook you with a fireball. They're blue as right, well, right? So yeah, fire is gonna work pretty cool on them. Do, 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 do. Whoosh. Okay, okay, two-tailed speaking wonder dog. It's your turn. How do you miss at 90%, really? Wonder dog my ass. One more. No, not cure. Fireball. A reverse mermaid. <laughs> Ennio Mori Morricone. Morricone? I don't I have no idea who that is. Gotta remember to check that later. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> opinions. Everyone's got one. No, opinions are the same. Ah, damn it, I forgot how we went. Yeah, opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one. <laughs> That's what a wise man... Wise man taught me. Whoop. Just poke it to death. There you go. So yeah, I read about the stats grow. Um, I read about the stats grow growth... Um, John. And it turns out, yeah, it is. So after, after each star level... When you get major stat boosts, you have like 3 to 15 battles, depending on the the level and the character. Where you get minor stat boots, boosts, then you get another major one, and then you get nothing. At all. That's at least what a couple of guys said. So we just gotta, if we wanna max out the stats, we gotta follow that. Do you wanna finish him? Yeah, I'm gonna finish the other one, actually. Yeah, whoop. That should be like one fireball, because they're blue. Their their innate innate magic is blue, which means they're very weak to fire stuff. Which one? Would we do? They're both near death. Oh, that one's dead. Okay, we have enough for a fireball. Yeah. Anybody needs healing? No, just use magic on them. Whoosh. Oh, ja. Here we go. Reverse, reverse. Okay. That's the way you want it, Shiny. That's the way you're gonna get it. Like Michael Jackson? <laughs> how, uh, how do I live? I, I wake up each morning doing... <gasps> and then I continue doing that. <laughs> Yeah, for specific parts. Okay, so we agree on that. Oh, okay. Okay, Western movie soundtracks. So now, reverse, reverse through the... It's a, it's a JRPG, so it shouldn't be too bad. Here we go. We found the place. That's the spot. She's moving backwards. Like, why is she going down there? Did she say just wait there? I, I gotta see my own grave with my own eyes. 
Oh, the it, the sky is also different. It was blue yeah. in our world. Yeah. There's some writing on the tombstone. Rest in peace. Our beloved Serge died age seven. No one can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. This can't be! So, you must be the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago, Serge. Hua? Oh, there they are. <gasps> Did you just kick my talking oh, dog, you no. bitch? Sorry, Junior, but we have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be a good boy and come with us. Oh, no. But Sir Karsh, do you think this is truly true that this chap is a ghost? He seems a perfectly perfect young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here, just as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him. Wait till you see there. Hold your sea horses. Ah, there she comes. Yar she blows. Wait, so she's okay with taking a dog? No, that's she's she's not with them. Oh, okay. Oh. Who the Zvush Out of the way, Missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? <laughs> well, that's okay, Carter. We can't... No one can know everything, so yeah. I would say, how can anyone say they lived? Uh, oh, the <laughs> Gramps is in on it, too. <laughs> how can anyone say they lived they didn't see here the great uh, Yasunori Mitsuda? Collective knowledge, that's where the secret is. Eat the talking dog from a cliff. <laughs> Car sounding a little flamboyant, yeah. Yeah, he, that's that's how I'm imagining speaking, actually. <laughs> Shut your trap. You're the ones who'd bet, better get out of the wow, Her Australian accent is thick in this one. I can't do that. <laughs> You're the ones who <laughs> who'd better get out of the way. she got to speak quickly to be Australian. And a Drew Goon speaks. <gasps> you have a problem? Do you have a shaking idea who you're dealing with, Missy? That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else, this axe of mine will have to do the talking. For crying out loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm not. A, I'm gonna kick your sorry arses so hard you'll kiss the moons. Plural, mind you, plural. Oh my gods. Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. Good thing there's no active time battle in here. Okay, let's start. It's just me and... Oh, she's here. Yeah, she's fighting with us. So, the goons are Salt and Pepor. Do with that what you will. Their innate is yellow and his is green. So they kind of cancel each other out, which is good for me. Let's. Who are we going to attack first? Salt or Pepper? Let's take Pepper out of the way. Pepper power! <laughs> ah, you blind fuck. So, wait. If you can come to the grave, you can check it out. It will go to the Oh, you, but you gotta do that to move things along. Well, you said you, you can not. Oh, you can skip it completely. Oh, oh. oh you, you can skip recruiting her at least. Oh, okay. So what shall we use first? Let's start with a fireball, because it's a lower level. There, that's there's another there's a lot of chat in the chat. I like it. I like it, Shani. 
Okay, remember to be smart with stamina. She's she's quick and nimble with the knives, which is pretty good for us. Let's go straight to level two. Will you stop whacking me in the face? Jesus Christ! So this his innately innate element color attribute is white. All right, that does it. Quick, attack him with the opposite element attribute color, black. How unfortunately unfortunate. I do not seem to have any, sir. You nincompoop. You should always carry elements of every color. So they're kind of the extension to the tutorial. Like, uh, uh, what is it called? A comic relief tutorial extension. Then how about you there? Uh, I'm shaking my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I do not have any in either. We'll have to let you, Sir Carr, show us how it's done. Useless fools. Uh, real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. Oh, so they're not going to do anything. They're just going to be dumb about it. Surge has... Let's do one more. We got to be wary of the stamina. And then... Oh, she's got a lot of fireballs. Let's start with level 1 fireball. One fireball, two fireball. Okay, salt. <laughs> okay, he's got three stamina. We should... If I do one attack... Yeah, we're gonna have to fill that stamina up. I'm gonna do... I should have went with defend. Yeah, she's out of stamina, so... Defend him. Pray to God they attack him. Nope. Okay, should bring her out of the stamina faint. Actually, go to element right away. Fuck it. Photon ray the bastards. Photon ray attack! Do, 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 do. <laughs> now we're all both out of stamina. Oh, there we go. I killed Pepper. His lunch is not gonna be as tasty, but it's still gonna be salty. <laughs> hey, Gramps is here. I gotta do my best cringy jokes, right? Ah, oh, that was a miss. Okay. Go back and defend. Now both of them should fill up on stamina. You defend too. Whoop. There you go. Nothing. You triggered my Cortana. Please stop. <laughs> Cortana, lights out. Make it sexy, please. <laughs> they're, they're having a western talk there okay we've defended enough of reverse reverse it's been double the time well now that we're back to speed I'm gonna go straight with the uh, with a magma bomb <gasps> at foes. Oh, this attacks everyone. I should have used that right away, but never mind. Magma bomb attack. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ah, good damage, good damage, kid. You rest now. You rest, kid. You here? We're gonna make this less salty. Oh, he's hurt. Do I go with the with the strongest one? Yeah, that's all I can do. You lost your salt. Karsh, what you gonna do now, bub? He's gonna axe me, that's all he can do, basically. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, dog. Fireball plus two, sure. Burn the bastard. Right in the face. Hookers. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys on about? <laughs> 
Okay, cars, it's just you and me. Well, and the girl too, but... She's just gonna support me remotely. One, three. Oh, there we go. He's exhausted. Field effect is too red. Oh, Karsh, you suck, mate. Actually, let's defend both. Defend, defend. There you go. Dragon Rider, that's his tech. He's doing attack. Oh my god, he's actually gonna ride the dragon. Psh. Good thing I was defending, otherwise that would have been pretty lethal. What does she have, though? I want to see her elements. Show me your elements. Three ones, and do I have anything? I have nothing. Nothing left. Then number three. Hocha! Slice him in the face. She ruined him. She fucking destroyed him. <laughs> Your opinion or Ace Ventura? What do you mean? Oh, on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Ace Ventura is awesome. Oh, there was a boss fight. We got a, we got a growth level. Max healing. Bone, bone axe, copper, copper. Okay, we got bone axe. She's got. She should have pilfer, but that's a tech. We get that later. So, Kosh, I say we shake it out of here so that we can live to fight another day. Wait, is Pepper the tall one or the short one? Yeah, he's a short one. But these are no ordinary rats we're dealing with. Damn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on anytime. Think you'll lose to scum like you? Ha! So why were they attacking? Someone sent them. So yeah, someone boy. sent them. Someone told them that exactly at this moment, this boy that apparently died 10 years ago will be here. So someone knew. And they were like, oh yeah, let's fuck him up. Yep. Why? Because they're working for someone. I'm not going to spoil much yet, but yeah. They're working for me now. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Code. Non spoiler codes. <laughs> yeah. The heat here as well, the last few days. Oh my god. Bad keyboard. Bad. No dinner for you, keyboard. <laughs> You're right, Moit. I'm trying to do Australian. I can't do Australian accent. And a squeaky voice. You're right, Moit. It just sounds so weird. Your name Serge, ain't it? Oh, me. Me names. She's gonna be... We're gonna leave, kid. We're not changing names. Call me, kid. Nice to meet ya. I should... I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. <laughs> they just pissed me the bloody hell off. I wish I could have beat on beat on them some more. Beat on them? Don't beat on them. We don't do that in these streams. That's not how we do it. <laughs> but why was that mob after ya? Yeah, I know how to... So there, that's something I want to talk about. We'll get to that. Actually, we're getting to that. So let me get to that. Let me first read your message. What? Those do not record Lena? Yeah, yeah. I never had Lena first time I played. So, so basically, so I'm going to ask you and Yupka here the oh. most. Story-wise, I think it wouldn't make sense to the decline kid's help here. But here's how it goes. If we accept kid now, we can never get Lena in the game until the next playthrough. Why? Because I guess she'll see me with this girl and she'll be like, nah, I have no chances here. I don't know. Uh, so We're talking about the Lina. about another world, Lena. So not the original, my girlfriend, but the other one, right? John? John's going to confirm that. So the one from this world where I died. But I mean, it's the same person, just without you. But if we decline kid here, mm -hmm. we can get Lena, but we won't be able to recruit kid until a bit later, like until we reach Termina. What does that mean? How long is that story-wise? That's like 
two hours maybe, maybe less. Oh. Maybe even less. Oh. Actually. Oh, Wait, she's isn't she his girlfriend? I'm pretty sure in in the original world they are boyfriend and girlfriend. Well, yes, but in this world. Oh, in this world, yeah. In this world, yeah. yeah. She does have feelings for Serge, and she is will. It, is it gonna be like? Final Fantasy VII thing with Kid or not? Doesn't have to be. It okay. can. Like it all depends okay, so on you. Yeah. So unlike in Final Fantasy VII where you have no choice, here you do have a choice. Well, well you can. You kind of have a choice. Remember the bloody knife he was holding at the beginning, yes, the little flash. But I know. It's I the know future. Something. Yeah. I know that part, but I mean, I mean, uh, I meant the love thing. Why? Oh. You know, if you choose one, the other one is going to be like, ah. I think you're there regardless of your choice, your true destiny by the by the proper like uh, legit what is it called? Canonical ending. Yeah. It's kid. Really? Yeah. What about me? Well, that's how the world works. Oh, Times it. change. <laughs> Remember who kid is. You know who kid is. Yeah, so Okay, so basically we can have kid now, but never Lena, or we can wait with kid a bit. We can decline her now, and then yeah, meet her later. <laughs> what do you? I would like having Lena in the party. You would. Yeah. Okay, then we got a decliner. Yeah. John is also voting for that. I think. I thought maybe first playthrough it would be more, you know, logical to have kid and not Lena. Not that I used her. That I. No, well, I didn't have her, so that's why I didn't use her. But yeah, this is a big choice. Yeah. Uh I, I would like that, and I don't know when the next playthrough is gonna be. It might take years. So <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Okay, then we're going with both Lean and Kid. Yeah, I never had her, so I don't even know what that is. How did you choose not to recruit Lena? Because I ac I accepted Kid into the party right here. If you accept oh. her here, Lena never joins. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot with the characters like that. So, so if you pick one person in one world, the other one will never join, for instance. This is one of the rare cases where you can get both if you do it in a certain order. But for many, you can't get all 45 characters in one playthrough. It would be mad. Because if you picked one, their enemy might never join you. Someone who's yes. their enemy in this or the other world. Yeah. What do you mean you've never even met him before, hey? Ah, forget it. I imagine her speaking like Sprig from uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Hey, Sedge, how about you and me team up for a while? That Karsh fella ain't gonna just leave you alone, that's for sure. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on me own. <laughs> so, how about it, Sedge? Maybe it was fate that we'd meet up like this. Hmm. So refuse. <laughs> yeah, there's 45 playable characters in uh, Chrono Cross, and you gotta do you gotta do multiple playthroughs to meet them all. But there's a nifty thing: once you beat the game once, you get an item that lets you call characters from other timelines. So basically, you can keep uh, everyone you recruited in your last playthrough and do things differently in the new playthrough to recruit new characters. It's really the game is. I'm telling you, like the 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 plot, the the even like these brain blasting mechanics. A lot of it must have inspired some parts of Dark. I just refuse to believe that it didn't. <laughs> yeah, what John just said. It's so, uh, they say, I, I'm not sure, but they say that Chrono Trigger was the first game, at least widely known first game to offer New Game Plus, where you basically start a new game, but you keep your level and skills and everything, uh, some of the uh, some of the items, and you start new. And that's, that's very necessary in Chrono Trigger to uh, achieve some of the endings, like killing Lavos at, like, as the first chance you get because on your first playthrough you're so underpowered that he just like sneezes at you and kills you but in the second playthrough you can just 
and especially later play you just go just go kill the final boss at the start of the game there you go you won but you get special endings that way in different in different eras in different places you like intercept the final boss and beat him defeat him you get different endings so this one has something similar because you can also basically end the game 20 minutes playing in in later playthroughs to get some different uh some different endings <laughs> yeah uh grams we were making our custom spaghetti just before the stream where we put everything in the pot she's just checking if it's done so the dinner is gonna be ready right at, at after the stream there's a lot of vegetables and meat and stuff in there stuff like like the, what's the third thing you can put in food but yeah <laughs> so we're refusing her okay so yeah then it coined coined it as a new game plus i know a lot of especially uh especially the um uh Square games, I want to say. Well, later Square Enix games, they uh, they had New Game Plus. Like, I know Final Fantasy X 2 has it. Chrono Cross has it. 12 doesn't have it, though. I'm pretty sure. Digital Devil Story, Megami... Wait, Megami Tensei was before? Oh, really? The Legend of Zelda, the first Zelda, kinda? Not really? I am playing, sis. What do you, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> um, kind of, the first Zelda has the second quest. You, uh, you could say that's a new game plus. Welcome back, love. So we're refusing her, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, like a historian, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of, but it's not. It doesn't have that much of an impact. That You do have shuffle dungeons and all that. Yeah, I'm not even. I haven't even started talking. Wait till I get up to speed. Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is nothing. So we agree. We're yeah. getting Lena. We're refusing, kid. Yeah. Sorry, kid. Got to refuse you, kid. Here's to you, kid. <laughs> Hang on. Are you telling me you're gonna refuse the company of a lonely, vulnerable, sweet little girl? That doesn't sound good these days. Fine, let's go. No, just dot dot dot. Uh, this hurts me to do. I would accept her right away. You sure there, mate? Sure. You might live to gr regret it, you know. Then accept her. I mean. <laughs> yeah, this this is what got me when I tried it the first time. It was, uh, it was like three times. The third time, she's like, "Are you sure?" I'm like. Shit! I just guess I gotta I gotta get her into my mm, <laughs> band of merry men and vulnerable little girls. Otherwise, <laughs> something bad's gonna happen. Um, but there's no Lena then. You know that. Yeah, but I mean they're hurting and stuff. This is one of those decisions that's very hard to make. I'm I'm gonna see what it looks like this time. Okay. <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> oh, it pains me. It let pains me. 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 <laughs> Think about let it. Me. Two wives. No take backs. Okay. Has been done. Okay, okay. Okay, no thanks, kid. Sheesh. Well, have it your way, might. She left. See? Shouldn't have done that. Jeez. <laughs> John waits for us to do this because I was kidding. Come back, I want you. John wants us to do this because he says Lena is very powerful. Oh, there she t tells us. I'll be heading up north to a town called Termina. Can't believe you're It'll be getting dark pretty soon. I suggest you go find a place to check up for the night. Don't want you to become Hecram bait now. <laughs> Ah, uh, in Radical Dreamers, she was imitating a hacker, and I love that. Well, see ya.
Uh, <laughs> made it up. <laughs> it was terrible. They sh should be kind to animals. Oh, there she is. So now she's gonna join. Did we just rest on a box? Nina. Rise and shine, everyone. A new day awaits. I'm glad I found you here, though. Surge, right? Kinda feels odd calling you that. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe you had some kind of accident and hit your head. That's why your memory's all messed up. You're really someone else, but you think you're the Surge who died 10 years ago. I want to help you. I can't just leave you alone like this. You don't seem like such a bad person either. You're planning to go to Termina, right? Then let me join you. I have some errands to run over there anyway. And to tell you the truth, it feels like I've always known you. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Well, that's that. Shall we get going? Lena, join your party. Oh, I thought we, we were gonna wait for both. No, if we declined kid, she would be right there, but Lena would never join. If we actually accepted kid. <laughs> Alright, first time I'm using you, Lena, so let's see. Let's head to Termina. Yeah, she's adorable. Poshushu, full speed ahead! Oh, that's speed. <laughs> speed, yeah. Speed, Steve. Hello, Steve. Okay, what does she have? Damn, John was right. Her magic is like... Poshul's is like three. Hers is nine. Like three times more. And she's blue. Stamina recovery, 11. I can't remember. I think kid's blue. No, kid's red. Kids oh, red. Okay. That also. Kids red versus blue, eh? Let's give her some elements. Allocate. G let's get ready to go to or on to road. I'm gonna say um, Icelands. That's for her. Okay, level three right away. What does Icelands do? Rolls an icicle spear. Okay, aqua beam is one. Okay, let's put this. I'm gonna say maybe better level 2 Icelands. Cure can go level 1. Aqua Beam. I'm gonna say 1 as well. It's a consumable. Better put medicine. Wait, medicine is 2. Okay. Excellent. She's all blue. She's gonna go fully blue. Medicine, what else? Tablet, fireball, fireball, fireball. Hmm. Magma bomb, that's for kid. Where did she go? Dead in Wizzybo. Okay, what's... Yeah. From RD? What's RD? Oh, Radical Dreamers. Okay, okay. You think? Wait, medicine is for the par paralysis, was it? Medicine is for the flu. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the flu is when you get cold. You're right. So let's swap it for... Fireball. And then level 3. What are we going to put here? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe nothing for now. I do know that Poshul... No, wait. Poshul's yellow. So we're gonna give her the Electro Jolt to level 2. Right. What else does she have? Cure. I'm gonna say Tablet. Now don't give her green. 
that's not for her okay what else what else magma bomb that's for kid maybe give her oh wait that's weak it's gonna be weak in her hands give him magma bomb to slot two what else can I put a tablet there okay I got things now yeah ma magma bomb is yeah electro joint <laughs> Put the magma bomb on her wait she's blue no i don't mean not use it i just thought they, you know they would be weaker because it's the opposite of her innate of her innate uh, one who did i give the magma bomb then to i think surge because he had yeah he had level two free it's pretty good it's not weaker okay Jazz cabbage. <laughs> Cause why not? Uh, that I can totally imagine that as a skill in this. So they're saying give her the okay. So surge on your level two. We gotta equip before we head on because we're gonna fight some fools now. Heal what can I give him instead of the magma bomb? I'm gonna say antidote. Fuck it. There, your level two is green. Live with it. And then she can get the magma bomb. There you go. Everyone's filled up. Everyone ready to go? Are you ready, folks? Anything else to pick up here before we before we leave, John? Because we won't be back for a while. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. It's kind of counter the story. What do I gain? Can you tell me shortly? What would I gain? Woo, frame rate. Hold your horses. So we did everything in Arnie, I think. How's our money? 1600. Oh, yeah, the weapons. What does she have? What can I equip on her? We want to equip him. Weapons and armor. Ivory mail. So she uses... So she uses the... Uh, a large spoon made from bone. Good for smacking children's bottoms, too. Calcium spatula. What a nerdy game. Um, uh, 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 um, she uses a spatula. Ivory helmet for her too. Let's see what we can make. It's the preparation part. I have some elements I can show you. Uh, weapons armor, please. The safety gear for later. Forge weapons. So yeah, she has that. And Kid has the ivory dagger, I'm pretty sure. Armor. Ivory ivory vest, which we need fur for. And ivory mail. Anybody has got one? We got three equipped. Okay, we don't need that. Accessories. Ivory helmet. Everyone has one, so we don't need that either. Okay. What about your elements something we need show me your elements show me your elements aqua beam do i have that i have one allocated okay on her cure nothing zero zero so i'm good but yeah mojo 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 let's not forget about mojo jojo Wait, do we recruit him this early? Antidotes. Yeah, I got 10 antidotes. Mojo. Mojo Jojo. Do we talk to him right away? No answer. Seems to be just a straw doll. Hey, man. Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. Sure, I'll take a few more. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? You're just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. 
how our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Yada yada, we know this. This holy item filled with prayers protects us. Come on, come, my brother, let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Where can you find true love and peace of mind? Within Mojo! So are we praying? Are we getting? Yeah. Give him the, the shark tooth again? How do you recruit him? Oh, he's doing the same dialogue? Yeah. You don't remember? I came and told you there's another you in another dimension. Ah, okay, that's why he's saying it again. I gave up. I couldn't do it. I don't care what you say. This is the path I chose and I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change... <laughs> yeah, he's obviously regretting it. Can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now... Would you please put that thing away and leave me alone? Alright. Yeah, I remember him jumping off. Okay, I'll just slowly walk out. Boogum! Hold on a second there. Well, didn't the left. What, what was that? Because you gotta meet Kid first. Oh. Love is always in the air. It's just that no one notices. Y your mojo? I am Mojo, and I bring good fortune. Boogum! Th this can't be happening. How in the... I sense some kind of purpose. Seems like fun, so I will join you. Not even, like, it's not even asking me. <laughs> God damn it, Carter! You had to, you could you could totally roll up this guy and smoke him, it's just like a straw doll. So it makes it makes perfect sense. It's a voodoo doll, yeah. <laughs> oh wait a second! There's nothing droll about me. Just a word of advice: stop running and come face to face with your life. Uh. <laughs> A messenger of love and courage, I am. I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Ha ha ha. So, I don't know. Confirm. So what's his, what's his innate? Black. He's the opposite of Surge. Damn. <laughs> his agility is crazy. Look at that. Ten. Accuracy 90. Pinpoint precision. Mojo, dude. <laughs> Do I want to put him in the party for now? Now. Nah, Let's see what do you what do you do, Mojo? And a skip and a hop. Look at him running. I like how every character has unique running animation. And walking too. Uh, let's see. I never used him before. <laughs> he is the effigy, yeah. You gotta... Uh, yeah, she uses the ladle, by the way. This, the, the spoon. Her, her profile is sweet country gal. She's 16 years old from Arnie. 5 foot 5, ordinary build, right-handed. What, she's about 40 kilos? So, like, when there's a storm... When there's a storm on the... on the, Why are they all so light? Like, makes no sense. I, I can... Like, this thing can be 10 kilos, sure. That, they're, that, they're all them. They're kids. Yeah, but they're, like... They're kids, still. You're right, yeah. I'm, I, I'm just thinking, like... This is normal there. This yeah. Is like one of our sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Okay, I was gonna see his stats. Is it like, is it, <laughs> is oh, it supposed to be funny? <laughs> Reedy. <laughs> I, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Dominant arm unknown. So, is it like, uh, supposed to be a 
tongue-in-cheek reference that he's a voodoo doll and his things but no things and his innate is black how does agility count into this like his agility is 20 but his stamina recovery is still no i mean how does it count into the battle system is what i mean seven seven he's got he's good against magical attacks magical resistance is good like physical resistance is shit lena can take more beating than him yeah his dance moves are one of a kind do the straw man <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Should we bring him for now or should we keep bringing Poshul? Okay. Sasha has spoken. Oh wait, can I... I can't change party members until... Customize? Nope. Damn it, until we get to a record of fate. Select? Yeah. Nothing... Yeah, okay, he's stuck with us. We're stuck with him. Dodging. Okay, so it does have uh, affection. It does have a uh, effect on the um, on the turn. Well, if you're gonna be back in like 15 minutes, it's gonna be okay. You're not gonna miss much. Welcome, raiders. Welcome. Hello, sexy Wesky. Hello, Simon. Kun. Good to see you guys. I'm, I'm gonna guess John is on it. Is it John? Let's see who's gonna do it faster. Ah! Sh shout out Supreme! <laughs> ah, he beat me to it. He beat me to it. GG, John. I'll get you next time. Gadget John. <laughs> Whoa, you... Wesky was playing Sonic the Hedgehog 3. You know, it's funny. I feel lately I... Just feel like playing Sonic 3 and Sonic CD. I never beat those two. And I have them on Xbox 360. So I was like, should I do that? Actually, I have the better version of Sonic CD on PlayStation 2. And I was like, should I do it? Nah, we'll get to that when we do the Sonic series. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing, Wesky? My my Asian friends. Kun. Hey, Kun. Simon's there. I just, I didn't even see. I just knew that, like, if Wesky's there... Uh, Simon and Kun are gonna be <laughs> left and right of him, like going into going into the stream, like like a boss into a tavern or rather <laughs> a restaurant. <laughs> good to know, good to know, Wesky. How was Sonic Three? I never really beat that game. I just well, I may, maybe got halfway through. Same for Sonic CD. So, but I beat Sonic Two multiple times. <laughs> My man. <laughs> So the text is same. So that's, that's fisherman yeah. Fisherman yeah, I mean, he's the fisherman in, in our world. In this yeah. timeline, he's not the fisherman. Yeah. I think that's it for Arnie. Get out of my way, kid. No, we will now. John says I should go to the marshes first, so story-wise I wouldn't get there for a while. But since this is like free exploration game, I'm gonna listen to John. He says there's good gear in there. John played this like 15 times, so he knows it better than I. I keep saying it's my favorite game, it's my most favorite game ever, but I like beat it once and that's it. I, I still, I would, I, like without John nudging me that way, I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't recruit Lena now, I would save that for the second playthrough, and I wouldn't go to the Martians, but I'm gonna listen to my buddy. No, it's not, it's the first yeah. one in this one, it's not so a new why, game plus. Why, 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 why you go to because we're gonna need to go there later. Oh. But I'll still have to go to the Martians. Wait, in which world did the... Uh, Hydras die out in this one or in, in, in our world? Rainy day over there, Wesky, huh? And you enjoyed Sonic. Good to know, good to know. So here they died out. Okay. Is that a dwarf or is that... 
Several years ago, when all the hydra died off, this woodland became covered with a thick fog and the waters became polluted and acidic. But the real cause was us humans killing off the flora and fauna. I just hope we don't come to regret the destruction we caused. So remember, one of the timelines is the true, the true one, yeah, the real one. The, one, the other one is the split-off timeline because something changed. I'm not gonna say it yet what it is, but it, it's important for what he just said. What was this? I forgot what, the, what this tentacle thing was. Oh, so yeah, okay, okay, I see now, because we're actually, the, 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 the Hydra Marshes we need, we need to visit are in the home world. My stream's going great, Wesky. I got John here, my live walkthrough guide, I got, my family's here, uh, my friend came to the stream for the first time today, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Oh, come. I don't know what he means. <laughs> tell him about me. <laughs> you tell him about yourself. So, Professor Wesker, <laughs> or, the, or as I call him, Sexy Wesky, is a fellow streamer. From Korea. Wait, why? Why can I open the? Ah. And he's a, one of the cheeriest persons, persons, people I ever met. <laughs> Gramps over here, Vahumi eighty four, or as I call him, Gramps. Uh, he's um, he's a he's a friend from Serbia. How do I explain explain it? He's an old fellow. He he likes to scold the kids for playing in his yard. John, I'm just gonna buy more uh, antidotes because I forgot since we're gonna run in the bog. Open your shop to me, woman. Oh, a rainbow shell. Remember those from Chrono Trigger? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the dude, dude. Oh, did she did she take it from me? No. I didn't follow that through. Did she take it from me? So, elements, antidote. Yeah, I just forgot to buy them, man. I just forgot to buy them. Antidote. Let's say I have 10. I have 10. I'll get 10 more. There you go. Should be good. Thank you. Come again. Okay. Get out. Back to the marshes. We're just gonna go through it. Let's start by going right. It's the opposite of what I normally do. Is there anything here? Let me check my health. <laughs> Alright, Simon. Good night. You have a good night and thanks. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, you too, Wesky. Yeah, 2 a.m. I get. I wouldn't stay up that late. <laughs> I'll prob probably fall asleep raiding. <laughs> Good night, guys. 2 a.m. again. Okay. What I want. What do I want? Let me focus on this. I I'm pretty tired myself, so it's. It's uh, it's pretty hard to focus on the chat and the game today. Harder than usual. What do I want to see? My health, yeah. Okay, someone's gonna die here. You gotta be careful with the poison. So there's nothing oh to pick God. up here. That, that that you're yep. Wow. I gotta use some elements. Oh, not items, elements. I guess tablet will do. She's pretty fucked up. They will. They, they, they'll. They'll live. Uh, 
I won't sleep, but I might pass out soon. <laughs> Between two worlds. Yeah, something's gonna be here in the other dimension. Yeah, yeah, enter. But, but I need to sleep now. I'm not gonna use this on them. Also, I wanted to see... I forgot how to change party members. Without... Do I need record of fate? How, John? How do I change party members? That's what I forgot. Save load, maybe? No. Not customize? Nah, no, that's just options. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's it. Like, teleporter or something. Let's go sleep in my old... In that house that I claim is mine, but that other guy says it's not. Oh, my eyes. Was the frame rate this jittery on the PlayStation as well, John? Because I remember it being at least a tiny bit smoother. Okay, Komodo, let me rest. You wanna rest, man? Imagine having a complete stranger just enter your house and being like, yeah, you can rest here, yeah, <laughs> okay. These people are trusty. Ah, ah, that's why. That'll be exactly 100G, man. Didn't I let you rest here? Quit complaining, man. Ah, you just ripped me off. Just ripped me off. Remember it, dragon. I killed your brothers and your mother in another dimension. I probably killed you too. So <laughs> fuck you. That's why you pay 100G, man. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the, the, the dragon stoned. <laughs> But not on the PlayStation, right? Yeah, they're actually the frame rate is a lot worse if you do it uh, if you use the remade graphics, like the remastered graphics. Because I tried, it gets like to shit. It's kind of better when you use these. Okay, now we go left, and we can make a shortcut here by touching the vine. It'll let us slip down there. Do we fight that? Yep, we fight that. Yeah, OG frame rates were pretty good. I remember the battles going like to 60 most of the time, unless like there's a huge spell. Same for outside. Ooh, wait, which element? See, this would be this would be a great time to have my dog that actually had the fucking yellow element. <sighs> and my dog has the electricity. It's wonderful. Someone else can use magic. I don't even have elements with him, do I? Nope, I didn't put anything on him. Well, that's just annoying. We we'll just fight them hand to hand. Fight me, fool! Now it's its turn. Toxic burst. Could have finished it off with magic, but no! Oh, now I see that, John. Now I see that. Oh, it died. It died. It. All right. Then I got an arrow saucer. Okay. How's our help? Lena's not good, doing good. Damn. Bring your girlfriend to an adventure and have her die at the first swamp you come across. Sounds realistic to me. I guess use an element. Tablet. Like, it's enough, one is enough to recover her full health, so. I'm, I'm still poisoned, yep. She's poisoned. Uh, see that poison green? And right next to her name. I'm just remembering how to play, play the game still. So, Grams, for reference, this is my all-time favorite game, but I haven't played it in 11 years, so... <laughs> I guess I'm gonna use the element now. Just wanna try it. Antidote. Yeah, see, she has the poison. 
Well, John said don't do it until you're on dry land, but I guess. Oh, they're, they're... And you have to go deep in. A tablet, okay? You lose one, you get one. Only 11 years, yeah. Back when we were young and sprightly. Anything here? Well, you gotta check. A chest. Well, I gotta fight that thing. Oh, it's from the other side. Never mind. Lena's gonna die again. Four times. <laughs> okay. Okay. Damn. I guess everyone now. Good Don't thing. Go to the other side. You can just, go left. just go left. Okay. Thanks for the guidance, pops. So I'll go back here when I'm stronger. Because I know I did it like that the first time. So this... You, you were right, uh, John, by the way. So this... Uh, yeah, we're going up, actually. That, I mean, that's the, that's the swamp be between us. The bog. Thanks, Carter. You have a good rest, man. I'm not gonna sleep, I'm just gonna pass out. <laughs> there we go, a record of fate. It auto-saves as soon as you touch it. Well, then I don't have to do anything. There's no tent in this game, either. Bye! Bye, as one would put it. Yeah, the the, the swamp's pretty destroyed Bye. in this in this land. Okay, we got an electro jolt here, right? So I'm gonna put it on Lena because she has the most power. No, wrong thing. Elements. Not use. Allocate. Okay, I'll get back into it. Don't worry. Electro jolt power. Magma bomb. Ice Lance, Fireball, Cure, Aqua Beam. Then I guess I'll put it on someone else. Yeah, he's got nothing. Auto Allocate. Let's see what happens. Mojo only. There you go. What did you put on Mojo? Tablets. Arrow Electro. Okay, that works. And nothing in level 3 slot. Yeah, how do I do how do I remember there was a way to get it from let me see. So to get elements from someone who's not there. Yeah, I remember that, but I can't remember how to do it. So you can take elements off of other characters and auto allocate them onto other characters. Even take them off with characters that aren't in your party. Yeah, I remember that. I just can't remember how. Let's see. Now let's just literally reorder. Was it party? No, I don't have party yet. Ah, there we go. There we go. You press left here. There we go. Boshul. So I can just move her elements onto. Can I just transfer them? I remember there was a way to transfer. Let me try. Yes! Unequip all elements, but you can't transfer them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So remove all, huh? Unequip all elements. Whoop. And then uh, allocate them on to him. Alright, we got two Electro Jolts on him now. He's gonna be the electrician, huh? But no uplift. I guess that works. Let me see what auto allocates on her, huh? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the support, John. Let's see what it was gonna do. Oh, I guess it... Huh! Interesting, so it put medicine here. Which we don't need. So I'm gonna replace it with... 
an uplift. And then him, he's okay. You're good, Sergi. Okay, now equipment. I don't know if she's got anything I need right now. Ivory mail. Yeah, we nothing we need because he's got he's got his equipment. Not a helmet though. We can get her helmet. Yeah, that is true. Actually, while I'm here, I can make him at least a little bit stronger. There you go. There you go, brother. This is... I like how involved John is with this. It's a shared love. Dupka has entered the what room and everyone's lives. Oh, the chat room. <laughs> Welcome back, Yuka. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta be crazy to walk around this forest without protective gear. I have an extra set with me. Take him. This way you'll be able to walk through the marsh without getting hurt. There we go. Safety gear. We're gonna need that in, in home world, right? Oh, and watch out for the monsters lurking deep within the forest. We haven't actually explored those parts yet. We don't know how to get there. Damn, it's really destroyed compared to our world. If you want to go deeper into the forest, you need the proper equipment and the means to control those strange plants. Which the dwarves have, if I remember correctly. Unlike the plants by the entrance, these plants seem to have been completely mutated by the toxin. They'll whack you in the face if you touch them. I've heard that the dwarves who used to inhabit this forest used to be able to bend these plants without touching them. Nice. Yeah, okay. Good. I remember more than I thought I remember. Nothing else here. So that's what you meant by the protective gear. Ah, I thought you meant like actual gear, like actual armor. <laughs> so now we can walk around. That's a key item, isn't it? Safety gear. Poison resistant clothing that an exploration party had spared to lend to amateur adventurers. So they had like three sets. For all our sizes, even for the roly-poly build that, that the dog has? Sure, we'll roll with that. Yeah. Because they... they I, I can't remember if the dwarves died in this world or they just left for Marbule. How do you pronounce it, John? Marbule or Marble? I know which choice you mean. Would we even have to go to the... Fuck yeah, I'm gonna have the choice. I'm already kind of regretting... Whether we're gonna save the you-know-who or not. Making me spoil shit here. But I will want to come back here later. Marble. Marble? Because I always thought it was Marble. So is there anything here? Like, is there more stuff to get? Or should I come back later? Oh, another chest. Bushwhacker. Bushwhack. Okay. Now you confuse me even more. Okay, okay. Is it an item? No, it's the element. I think, yep. 
Okay, straw man. There you go, he's got the bushwhack. Wait, who's got the bushwhack? Nobody's got the bushwhack. What the hell? Water sauce. Mm, maybe she will be good with the bushwhack. No, no medicine. But we will give her the bushwhacker. Aha, okay. With the same name, but not the same. Yeah, I kept thinking it's the same guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at us, like, not spoiling. Talk, speaking in codes. It's gonna slap me if I touch it. Look at that. Straight in the face. Are you all right on, Sir John? The toxin levels seem on higher tier than at the entrance. The plant must have mutated on. Their accents. So, and it took some HP, didn't it? Slap me in the face, will ya? So we can't, we can't move on yet. <laughs> I know you are, John. We can't move on until later okay so that's why he sent me here we'll come back here later just as long as i don't forget will you speak to this guy with that safety gear on the toxic marsh waters will be no problem but remember there are also a lot of monsters here so don't do anything stupid now okay i guess we're done here slap 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 Okay, let's head towards Termina. So in our world, if we tried to go come here, they would chase us out being like, uh, we're doing an expedition here. Yeah. Our excavation is nearly complete. Just stick to the low path and you and make your way through. We still have some of our men working on the high ground, so do not interfere with their work. Okay, nothing else. What about you, guy? Watch out for wild monsters running about. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that part, thanks, John. What? Yep. So, fun fact. Um, uh, when I played this X, Y years ago, I think like 12 years ago, first time I booted it up, uh, my ex's brother, Maria's brother, heard the, the battle theme, and 10 minutes later, he came, uh, came into the room with his guitar, he played the electric guitar, I think he still does, and just played this perfectly. It was like, wow, nope. It was like, wow, what a melody. What is this like? Pa, pa, pa. I started doing it. I was like, shit, man, you're, 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 you're a talent. <laughs> yeah, he did it like spotless. The big bird. Yeah, I remember the egg. That's like way later, but yeah. All right, Baba Dingo. Wait, I want to see... It's a baby dingo. We killed a baby dingo. Let's go to Lena. I want to see what she can do. Slap him with a wooden ladle. Oh, they're fighting each other. Stupid dogs. Element. So what do we have? Magma bomb. You want to see magma bomb in action? Whoosh! Dead Jim. We got a lot of fur, we can make the thing now. He said stick to the lower path. In role-playing games, that means do the exact opposite. 
We are investigating a supernatural phenomenon up there. It is off limits to the... Hey, are you the exorcists we sent for? Why, yes we are. Oh, great, I thought you'd be a little older. Please, make your way up the rope ladder. Sure thing, Shani. Are you the exorcists? You're younger than I expected. Anyway, do you hear that howling sound from down yonder? All we want to do, you to do is to stop that noise. I don't believe in ghosts, but go do what you have to do. They say there's a ghost in Arnie village and now this mysterious howling. You know which ghost they're talking about. No. Me! Why must we conduct such strange investigations? I just hope it's not some kind of omen. So you don't believe in ghosts, but I'm here with a fucking voodoo doll. Like, as big as life. Just standing in front of you, walking and talking. No, he said there's a ghost in Arnie village and now there's a ghost here. There are two different ghosts. But they meant the ghost on Cape Howe. Because people say they... There he is. Nyak, nyak, nyak. Hey, he man. <laughs> Looks like I'm causing quite a stir. I've been waiting forever for someone like you. Yeah, I know. You and I are both dead, eh? I don't know how I ended up like this. I don't have a body and I don't remember a thing. You understand what I'm going through, don't you? But I have a feeling everything will come back to me once I find my body parts. So how about it? Will you help me find my body? Sure, man. Nya, nya, nya. Yeah? I'm heavier than I look, but I hope you don't mind. And don't swing me around too much. It'll st I'll start feeling nauseous. Receive the heavy skull. So we're gonna... We're, so we're, this is gonna be a party member. We're literally all around the world. We're gonna collect his bones. And then we're gonna assemble him. And then the scariest part is you can go back, uh, you, you can find out where he lived and take him to his mom. It's fucked up. <laughs> it should be an egg too, yeah. What John was talking about. Look at that. Yeah. Looks like a dragon skull, like a dragon skeleton. <laughs> yeah, and you know why it is. Because the... the well, the ending of Chrono Trigger, well, the thing that changed in Chrono Trigger, that humans became the dominant species, they weren't supposed to. No one's been down there yet. There might be a monster that'll bite your head off. Why am I in charge here? It's only my first day on the job. I can walk here. Wait, I can just where the game wants me to, I guess. Oh shit, it's an enemy. Yep. Yeah. Should have guessed. <laughs> Shut up, John. Shut up, John. Drongo. That's a Drongo. Remember what she said? Kept saying in Radical Dreamers, "Don't be such a Drongo." Drongo and a Dodo. What's their innate? Hi -ya! I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, there you go. You just step on me. Dodos are supposed to be peaceful. You're a fake, man. You're a fake. Let's use an element. Electro Jolt. Wait, he's green. I should just do that. Okay, do what you gotta do, girl. Kick his ass with a ladle. Magma bomb. He was black, so white would work. No, he's white, so black would work. We don't have any white. They have. You can see their sex as well. Uh, on the enemies. Did you see that? Squawk!
Wait, I do have elements. Photon ray attack! G -g 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 -g. Whoosh! It's gotta be full anime. Squawk! Arrow saucer attack. Whip! Squawk! Hey, I'm just voicing shit here. So if I do this right, defend. Oh, it's gonna peck. Oh, white on white. Shouldn't be a problem. Or just fucking annihilate me. Jesus Christ, bird. So I need some healing. Better leave that to Lena, though. Gotta be careful with uh, stamina. And... Okay, they have stamina. So heal, please. Cure. The fact that you can use them only once per battle. Now that's the scary part for me. Oh, I missed. What do I have here? Heal, antidote. Fireball, I guess? Nah, you just defended my man. You, can you do something? You want Lena to rest a bit? Because I want to use her... There she goes. I want to use her Ice Lance, see what that does. We already have one blue, so... There you go, kill the bird. We're gonna get the egg. It can kill Mo Mojo with Peck. Yeah. I got a bellflower. I don't remember what that's for, but I got it. Let's go down there. Hey! Don't go down there. I'm the one that's gonna get it from the boss if I let anyone down there. Plus, I really think there's a monster down below. Really, you're not gonna let me go down? I can't climb the... Where's the egg, man? There should be an egg here. Yeah, I can't remember the... Oh yeah, I can't, I can't, I just need to try again, okay. I'm warning ya! <laughs> Don't sprain too much. Ooh, are we healed? We're good. Can I get that egg, ma'am? Madam? Can I get the egg, madam? I think I can jump down from here, yeah. Big egg. Do I fight it now? Oh, he said run. Okay, I don't like these odds. I forgot I should was should run. <laughs> I like how the chat is slightly late. I'm glad that was taken care of. I wonder how Sir Karsh is doing. You know, with the Isle of the Damned incident and all. Uh, it's not in- I didn't say anything. Skulls are not supposed to jump around. You must have used some kind of supernatural trick. Uh, anyway, we'll take care of the rest, so please, be on your way. Just send your invoice to Viper Manor. Thank you. So they're- they're Viper's men. Wait, in this dimension, Viper's alive and Dragoons live. They're, they're the Acacia Dragoons, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
<laughs> yeah, it would just kill me. I remember dying here. Oh, there they are. Shake it. We can just shake it on back of, to the shake it on back to the manor like this. We failed our mission. That was awfully awful back there, Pepper. I want a rematch. B by the way, do you remember what kind of outfit he was shaking? Hmm. Just something justly like that, Pepper. Oh, you remember, so he looked like that, huh? Actually, it is him, Pepper. It's like, it's like Conqueror's Pepper a day. Yeah. <laughs> They're they're the comic relief in this game. They're gonna oh, be yeah. there a few times. They're fucking called Salt and Pepper. <laughs> so you're sure about that? A wonderfully wonderful timing, Pepper. Let's shake it. We really gonna have. Sh we're really gonna shake it to you this time. Yeah, that's the one. We were just there. Yeah. People didn't say that at all, I swear. What? What what I didn't say? What did I not say? This time I made sure to bring Black Element with me, Papor. Good work. We'll shake it up. Shake it on up and attack him with it. Affirmatively, affirmative, Pepor. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, dearie, dear. There was no black attack element you just used you used just now. It was a black element that makes your foe more susceptible to attacks of the opposite color attribute, white, wasn't it? I'm afraid you're right. How terribly terrible. You did bring a white attack element with you, didn't you? If you didn't bring one with you, you're more stupid than I thought. Err, uh, how awfully awful. I'm afraid I didn't, Pepor. <laughs> Strengthen. Okay, his attack is temporarily increased. Better be careful. Wait, we should have some L something that gets both of them. He surges at full, low res, okay, he's gonna lower her defense. You gotta love the goofy music. I'm gonna Photon Ray, they're both yellow. Alright, I better use green then. Nope, nothing green here, nothing too green here. That had to hurt. Pepper box. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, he can heal. I'm gonna use Q. <laughs> right. We can cure enemies too. Okay, that's there she is. Okay, we want to boost her up, because I want to try Magma Ball. That should do it. One more. Wait, what else was there? Ice Lance. I didn't try the Ice Lance. We'll try it later. This will attack both of them. Zoof. Okay, he's almost dead. What do you mean you dodged? He did not just dodge my thing, boy. Ooh, I don't like that. Please don't attack Lena. 
Okay, that's better. 51, jeez. So that was a double tech. Remember those from Chrono Trigger? Which is kind of good for me right now, because... Um, his cure sucked ass. What do you have? Arrow Saucer, okay. Damn, they got good agility there. But is it good enough? Is it good enough, boy? Got it. Like I love it that he does that while dancing. Perfect. Don't die on me. I want to try a thing on you. Ice lands. Zoop. Straight into the heart. That was almost tough. Yeah, Delmar, welcome to the stream, Delmar, my friend, <laughs> good to see you, good to see you, welcome, welcome to the Chrono Cross. What brings you to these waters today? We got a new growth level, new growth level today. Max healing, it's the same, max healing without using consumables. We got copper, gonna have copper. Retreat, I mean retreat. Let's shake it on out of here. They're all singing with me now. Shake it with me, boys. All right, Termina, here we come. That's Viper Manor from that's from what you know from uh, Radical Dreamers. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, it almost looks the same. Oh, I'm gonna save because there's gonna be no battles in here. And we're gonna rest later. He's so talented, my bro. One of my favorite streamers on Twitch. Why would I not come to his water slash channel <laughs> it's good to hear that Delmar my friend that means a lot to me thank you for those kind words thank you for the kind words maybe just singing like in tune with this music what else is here Delmar de Mundo Delmar de Mundo Delmar de Mundo Delmar de Mundo Delmar the Mundo Delmar my friend Where are we? What is there to see? <laughs> you got your own song there Alright We're gonna go into Termina Which is gonna have a song of its own It's kinda hard not to follow this music <laughs> Am I now? So this, the, the town This town's music This town's music is um, well, where we're about to enter, it used to be my uh, ringtone for a few years. The, the dream, the time dreams is still my wake up alarm, but I I changed this after a while. I could go back to it though. I haven't had it in like eight years, I think. Yeah. So let's get into it. Delmar, my friend. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not entering. That's why I'm, you got me. I can't think of any lyrics to go with that crazy tune. <laughs> good one, John. Good one. <laughs> I got an urn. Delmar's redeem. Doom. Doom. 
Nah, he deserves one more verse. As I think... A solo. <laughs> Here we go. A vocal solo. Delmar, my friend. <laughs> what? In, the, in Termina? Okay. I can try. I can't think of anything. Okay, no, that's not the one. That's the homeworld Termina I was thinking about. Yeah, this one's better. Sorry, I'm totally out of bellflowers. There's a big ruckus down in Fossil Valley. Men from the Dragoons were setting uh, roadblocks uh, up in the alley. A uh, valley, uh, not alley. I'll get some in a few days, so come, come back again then. Does he look like someone, maybe? Kind of looks like someone. He even has the same name, but he's not him. <laughs> really? He's not him. He just looks like him. Why? They wanted to do more. Also, Magus was supposed to be here. I'm pretty sure Glenn Frog was supposed to be here. But they couldn't, because there's already 45 characters. you got to compose all their uh, stories and put them in there. So, Magus was definitely scratched for that reason. And I don't know who else. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Delmar, friend, Delmar, 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 my friend, Delmar, 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 my friend, welcome to the stream now, Delmar, 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 my friend, how, how, how are you, friend? <laughs> you have my sincerest apologies. I understand we are here to protect you as Acacia Dragoons. Those knights should be done with their work shortly. Oh, it's all right. I can get my flowers from other places, too. Never mind, Dad. I haven't seen Karsh around here lately. How is he doing? Well, he said he was going to he was going ghost hunting down south. Woohoo! He was after me. I'm just a private, so I do not know for certain, but I have heard a rumor that a Lord Viper ordered him to go. A ghost? Now what is now that is something. I just hope it's not a sign of coming disaster. If you ever see him, give him my regards. I will do that, and I will be back too. Sure. <laughs> the art is beautiful, yeah. There, no, that's the okay. That's the one. That's the one I thought. So the other music is from Homeworld. This one is from this another world. I don't know why. Probably because of Glenn. Oh, Delmar, my friend. Welcome to the stream, my friend, where we sing for you all day. Delmar's been quite a while since we met And you've been always dropping by To my streams <laughs> Stop! No, I will not stop! I've been paid to sing and I will sing I will sing in all the voices I can think of Huh? Who was that? You don't know who he is? Aha! You must be one of the tourists here to see the festival. That boy is a dear, sweet Glen, a member of the Acacia Dragoons. Pretty popular with the people here. So yeah, his name is also Glen. But it really surprises me to see that naughty little boy grown so mature. It makes me feel my age. Huh. Dooby 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 doo 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 doo dooby doo Oh, here we go. God, you're so slow. Ya made me wait forever. Making a lovely lady like. Aha, so that's it. <laughs> she sounds like Popeye again. No! I get it, this Sheila over here is yeah, sweetie, eh? I'm right, ain't I? No need to be shy. I'm not so bold as to break up lovers' tender moment, tender moments. 
I'm understanding, I'll wait until your little date is over. Well then, have a bloody good time. Huh. You didn't get a okay. Nope. Are you you actually you come with me. Yeah. Huh. I wish I picked her right away. All the way, nah, no, I, I, I over, I've overwritten the save intentionally so I wouldn't think about it. When it's done, it's done. I want to listen to my friend John. I gotta do it. I gotta do it for the fans. Welcome! Would you like to stay with us? One moment, please. Ah, yes. We do have one room available. It is 100G. No. Do you wish to stay? Yeah, I'm gonna stay because I need... No, I need to... I need to... No, rest him. Have a nice day. Yes, ma'am. Oh, here we go. Our first record of fate. Well, it's not the first one. Oh, it auto saves every time you touch it. That's pretty cool. It speeds things up. But I'm still gonna do it. The inn is a hot spot for rogues and vagrants. I'm here checking for anyone suspicious. But don't look at me then, man. Can we get into the rooms? Kind of, yeah, we can. You just gotta touch the door. Hi-ho! Yes, we did it. We just used the greeting we were taught to. Taught by the hero Pierre. Hero Pierre. We have visitors vacationing from poor. It's very beautiful out here, and the food is great. We've only... We've only got good things to say about this place. Wait, uh, in this world... In this world... Poor didn't evade, right? They invaded in whole world, but they didn't invade in this one, right? Yesterday we toured the place by boat. Oh, I highly recommend it. If you ask the boy near the shrines, he'll let you on the boat. Oh, that's Korcha. Korcha's doing that as a job here. Yeah. Doncha, Korcha. Oh, you made a clip. Well, show it to us, peasants. Oh, quite so. Nothing to find here. Goodbye. I said goodbye. You can see the aesthetics are like in Chrono Trigger. Can you see that? The beds, the the drawers. It feels like the same world, even though other people illustrated it. I wonder, John, do you know why um, Akira Toriyama did not design characters in this one? Because the first, because Chrono Trigger had such a Dragon Ball feel to it because of Akira, and and this just doesn't. It's still, like, it, it's pretty good. The art is incredible. I wouldn't change it. I'm just wondering why Akira didn't have anything to do with it. Oh, yeah, you do. After you publish it, you can just go to my channel clips and see it. Everyone has access. That's the thing with clips. Oh. Yeah. You can just, as soon as you, at least on PC, I'm not sure what it's like on mobile. On PC, as soon as you publish a clip, you can go, you, you have the link right underneath, you have the share icon and all that. Well, well, so this is that singer Nikki everyone's been talking about. My dear, he looks like a girl. When I was young, it was a luxury for even a girl to have any makeup on. Nowadays, even the boys are becoming glamorous. But as long as it's trendy, I might as well join in with the youngsters and show off my go-go dancing. Yuck, 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 yuck. Alrighty then. Why did Kid, kid leave? Yeah, I would also think that, John, probably. Because he was doing, like, during Chrono Trigger, it was Dragon Ball Z he was working on, right? I think Z started some very early 90s. Because I know the original Dragon Ball started in the in the 80s, but then uh, um, <laughs> but then in the uh, du du I know during pretty sure during uh, 
Yeah, he was working on Dragon Quest as well. Maybe he was working on Dragon Quest 8. That would make sense. No, Dragon Quest 7, I'm sorry, 7. When Chrono Cross was being made, who knows? That's something I actually want to research. I saw Miss Riddle visiting the shrines again. She made a darling couple with her childhood sweetheart Dario. It's such a pity that he died so young. They say beautiful women rarely find happiness. How about me? Do I look happy? Oh, it's a trick question. Whatever you... Whatever you choose it's gonna be. I don't think this one. It's a trap! It's a trap! Just turn away. Just walk away. Can't, no, you, it's one of those you can't walk away from. <laughs> you want me to wait for you? Yes. Sasha requests, requests a way. Okay, I'll wait for you. If you'll be back soon. <laughs> and John's vote. Okay. She says wait for John's vote. Everyone's vote. I'm sorry. So, if I say she looks happy, then she's not pretty. I tell her she's ugly. But if I say she looks unhappy... She's pretty, but then she's unhappy. It's kind of like... You don't win whatever you pick, huh? <laughs> oh, nice trap you set there for me, ma'am. Is she a nun? I know the other one is a nun. You look unhappy, huh? <laughs> so let's make her pretty, but unhappy. <laughs> I guess that's how it works. <laughs> Good one. Screenshot that shit. <laughs> no, not game clip. I meant screenshot? Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh my, do I? Why, thank you. Although I know, it's just flattery. <laughs> this guy thinks that the frozen flame is some kind of jewel or something. I'd say things aren't that easy. It's probably a monster of some sort. Once you gaze at it, boom! You're well done, like a steak on a barbecue. Well, you're free to dream, but daily work is always the best. Nothing beats hard work and dedication. Oh, wait, that's a... Oh, that's a demi-human, okay. Ah, uh, I've been fired from my job and I'm really strapped for cash. But have you heard about this thing called the uh, Frozen Flame? What's that? What? You haven't heard? Oh well, I was gonna keep it a secret, but I'll make an exception for you. The Frozen Flame is the treasure of treasures. It's the ultimate treasure in this world. It's rumored that the notorious thieves, the radical dreamers, are also after it. But that thing is mine! One day, I'll get my hands on it and become the richest man in the universe. That's my Terminian dream. Alright, one more toast to my bright future. And so he slurps his drink. Since Dario died, one of the chairs for the four divas of the Acacia Dragoons has been vacant. Sir Viper is said to be looking for candidates. I can't foresee anyone who can match the caliber of the great knight Dario, though. If only I were a little younger. So what? Is there anything to pick up here in the corners? Oh wait, that's one of them. <laughs> Sash! We're just strutting around. I told her she's unhappy and she thanked me and said it's j probably just flattery. Pretty. Yep. Well, if she's unhappy, she's pretty. And if she's... <laughs> no, no, it's just... Not everything has a big impact. Um, this person told us about the frozen flame and how a thief group called Radical Dreamers wants to steal it. But he wants to get on his hands on it first. And this person told us about um, Dario, who died young, and 
one of the seats of the four divas of Acacia Dragoons is empty. And now we're meeting this guy. Oh, he's also recruitable. He's also playable. My name is Gwil, or Gil, or Guile. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. I am having a certain bet with the fortune teller by the bridge. If I can bring the item of proof from the manor within a week, I shall win. But if I cannot, I shall lose. But, as there is a trick behind any mysterious magic, so there is no such thing as an impregnable fortress in this world. A toast to my coming victory. Cheers, my man. So, so here's the thing. There's three people I can bring into the Viper Manor, which is coming soon. We're gonna do the Radical Dreamers thing and get break into the manor. Okay. Okay. As we do that, we can bring one extra person. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. And it can be Guile, Gil, Gu I'm gonna say Guile. It can be Pierre, who's a French swordsman. And it can be a third person who I for I forgot who the third person is. Who? Korcha. No, Korcha is going to join, I think, regardless. Korcha joins depending on other circumstances, but yeah. I'm just thinking who to bring. The first time I brought Pierre, I think I'm going to bring him in because I love his French accent. Yeah, like guy from Street Fighter. <laughs> Who, the, the waitress? Yes, if they don't have portraits when they speak, they're not important enough for the story, let alone to be, let alone to be recruitable. A welcome to the Dragon's Tale. Our house is open to all, but we don't allow any tabs or brawls. Put your feet up and have a grand time. You're travelers, aren't you? That's okay, I can tell by the way you look. So, what do you think of Termina? This poor town just loves travelers. I love this town and all of its people, whether they are residents or travelers. Who, Pierre? Are you talking about Pierre, a Frenchman? Yeah, I remember. I remember him being funny. I I, I didn't recruit Guile, so I don't know. Barkeep, one more order of squid gut pasta. More? That's all you eat. Try some of the other dishes, will you? Hehehe. <laughs> the better tasting it is, the faster I eat it up. Lyubka with the Holy Trinity. Jeez, right when we were in the middle of a good conversation. <laughs> the barkeep. Sasha wants to recruit the barkeep. <laughs> Yup. Oh, that was that was snappy. And that was snappy. How about the room, though? Can I go in there? It's locked. Yeah, Pierre. Pierre. Okay, I'll recruit Pierre. Oh ho ho. Where is Pierre, mon ami? I think I'll find him. Do I find him in front of the mansion? Was it? I know I'll find... I think he's in front of the mansion. He wants to be an artist or something. Shop. Go inside. I said go inside. Oh, nice. Come, kitty. Blacksmiths. Okay, yeah. Thank you, thank you. It's incredible how the brain remembers things... Years later, 11 years, Jesus Christ. Sometimes you don't know what you ate yesterday. Oh yeah, the, yeah. this left a huge mark on me. It kind of shaped my personality. <laughs> Why are you sh Cramps? Are you shouting? <laughs> because I kind of feel... <laughs> because it's all caps lock, I feel like it's, you know, an old man. Like, speak up, Shani, I can't hear! <laughs> I'm not yelling! There's so many, I can't decide which one. Oh, it's a kid. Mom said you can only have one because you're still a child. Ha! Huh? Grown ups have all the fun. They get to mess with all those elements, and we don't. 
I'm looking for a useful element. Oh, okay, okay, Gramps, then perfect. That's <laughs> then props to you, Gramps. That's that's wonderful. <laughs> I was like, why is he caps locking? He's not blind. <laughs> Even for dragoons like us who train daily, element selection is crucial. One choice can either make or break your advantage in battle. That's why it's so hard to choose. Hi there, ma'am. Ah, <gasps> there she is. Hey, Lena. Long time no see. How are you? Since when did you have a boyfriend? It's not fair to keep me out of the loop. It's it's nothing like that. He's he's my cousin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Isn't that right, no. Serge? No. Yeah, I'm gonna no. go with yes. I'm gonna no. support her. Wait, I just came into her life and said, I'm that guy who died 10 years ago, and she pitied on me and decided to help me. I should respect her that much. I think I think I should respect her. She's looking at the chat, chat waiting for John's input. <laughs> no, we're gonna go with no. We're gonna go with yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, I'm her cousin. She's the shopkeeper. <laughs> She's more important? Don't you well me now? Hmm, <laughs> a cousin, hey? Then, Sergipu, how about we leave Lena here and you and I go on a date? Why is she so. Wait, she knows my name and I didn't introduce myself. I don't remember that. But I'm, actually, I never had Lena here, so I didn't have this scene. Yep. How many endings does this game have again? 13? No, oh, 11. I think 11. <laughs> oh, Lisa, stop that nonsense. Oops, before I forget, this is for you. Mom told me to say hi. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Mom, from me. Anyway, how can I help you today? Don't expect any special deals just because we're friends. Eleven endings, okay. <laughs> what do you think, I have a microphone store here? <laughs> Alright. But the funny effects. That she sounds like this whenever she speaks. Let's get a few tablets. How many do I have? 27, yeah, I have enough. Then ointment, 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 oint, oint, burns and red. I'm gonna get ten for now. Why not? No, stop that. One more of these medicines. You say I have ten. You mean ten more? Brace. Recovers sprain and yellow status effect. Okay. When she, it says yellow status effect, does it mean if someone uses turn yellow on you, so you kind of wash the yellow off of you? Oint. Ointment. <laughs> no, it's you have a wonderful voice, love. You have the voice of a Tweety Bird. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm sure I thought. Ten braces, then I'll just keep ten of each. I have 1600. Cure, I got two equipped. Heal. Fireball. Magma Bomb with heal is 100. Jeez. I mean, I was just about to say, I think I'll, what a lot of people don't like about Chrono Cross compared to Chrono Trigger is because it's so expansive. Like, it's huge. Not just the plot is like fucking bonkers how, how complex it gets. But the, the gameplay itself is pretty complex as well. Trigger is much easier to get into. If you ever play the game, you'll know how to play Chrono Trigger. 
But cross, if you really want to play it well, you got to get into it. You got to strategize. You got to know all these things. Yeah, I think that's enough for now. Anything to sell? Okay, Lisa, why do you know about me? I'm in curious now. Maybe I maybe I thank John after all for bringing uh, Lena right away. I would have been here with Kid by now. Just gonna mention that. <laughs> yeah. But Kid, look at her. She's adorable. Can I get in? Oh, I can get in. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. You're not gonna find anything over here. Are you silly? Look at that. That's the rockin' bard Nikki. He's the hottest star right now. He's holding a concert at the pier. It's gonna be a highlight of the festival. He's not exactly my type though. You wanna buy a ticket? Do I want a ticket? Wait, actually the third recruitable person is gonna be on the boat. Mickey or Nikki? Bo you can recruit both Mickey and Nikki. Yeah. The rockers, yeah. Nikki double. Either. I think either. I think if you recruit one, you can the other, but I'm not sure. Do I want... No, not thanks for now. If there's anything else you want, please come again. You want me to buy a ticket? Okay. Sorry, love. I'll buy a ticket. Oh, we're gonna do the Rock Opera anyway. Oh, I can't buy a ticket now. Damn it! Oh, god damn it. Ah, damn it. Maybe if I change the room? Yeah, we will make a rock opera, but later in the game. And that, that part, I think you can't miss that part, really? Why, if it isn't Lena, what a pleasant surprise. The little girl I knew is all grown up. And watch this. Have you come, off, come to show your boyfriend off? Oh, you're silly. Just the other day, I went on my usual trip to the Shadow Forest to gather wild plants. Believe it or not, I found a rare blue tip mushroom. How about that? Do you envy me? Not really. Hmm, looks like you don't appreciate mushrooms at all. Oh well, never mind. Okay then, I'm gonna tell you a big secret. Deep inside the forest, there is a very large tree. This tree has a big hole in it. This hole leads to an underground waterway, which is the perfect place for rare mushrooms to grow. If you go deeper into the waterway, you'll end up in Master Viper's Manor. Does that surprise you? Master Viper must also gather mushrooms in his spare time. He is truly, a truly great man. Master Viper understands how to appreciate good mushrooms. What a wonderful lord he is. Okay, I know this guy. I think this guy can become recruitable you can kind of infect him with a mushroom and he becomes a mushroom himself and he's called a fun guy or something like that correct me if i'm wrong john you mean on top of the ones i normally do yeah i try to diversify but it's hard with like so many people so buy the ticket Let me see. Oh, sorry, I just sold the last one. If there's anything else you want to get, cocktees. I want to see Mickey and Nikki. I want to see what kind, what what kind of rock and roll they can make in this world. No, it, no, no, it would be, it would be the same. It's kind of like Lena's bell only. Lena's bell only not. Lena. Oh, the 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 I remember the lady. There's a reason why Glenn wants the flowers too. Uh, speak to me. Beer worker. Oh, they won't do want to speak with you. It's a demi human. Those are demi humans. I talked about them. They didn't exist exist in Chrono Trigger as far as I'm aware. What are you looking at? I'm working here. Hey, I'm working here. Get out of my way. You're bothering me. What's your job? You're not working. What's your job? What, which one would you ask? You're not working. 
You're not working. What did you just say? Maybe you don't get it, but I'm here to oversee these demi-humans. These guys always slack off on the job, and if you don't watch them carefully, I need to keep my... Oh, if you don't watch them carefully. I need to keep my eyes peeled. That's kind of racist. You're telling me that this whole race of people is slacking off, and you're paid to... A hundredth anniversary, probably? Yeah. Is this the... Oh, wait. That's the boat. Authorized personnel only. If you have no business, keep moving. Okay. It says Telmina on that side. I never... Wait. Did I call it Telmina in Japanese? Because that would make sense. Termina. Telmina. I can't even say it properly like that. Telmina. As one gazes at the sea all day long, one starts to wonder where the sea ends and where oneself begins. I've tried to live my way, but may, maybe I have just been drifting along, trapped in the ebb and flow of the ocean's tides. Wouldn't you agree, dear? Oh, it's a granny. How would I forget? How could I forget? She has already returned to the great sea. Oh, it's a grandpa. Can never tell from the distance. Oh, a little bit more. I want to play a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more, like maybe 20 minutes. This is the. I think this is the Zelbus. Yeah, it says Zelbus. We'll we'll come back here later. It's a ship. We'll be on it several times. Oh, it is, but later, like way later. Yeah. You can see the Final Fantasy VIII engine in this, can you? But it's... It's like an improved version of Final Fantasy VIII engine. Oh, you gotta, you gotta see this, I'll show you. Yeah, that's Nick. My, you folks are mighty anxious. Sorry, I'll be just... I'll be just a bit longer. I'll have these hot-baked Viper Churros ready in a jiffy. What's that? You don't know what Viper Churros are? First, grind down Hecran Bones, add a little water from Water Dragon Isle, then wrap them up with Biba Skin. Okay, that's... That you just... You just crossed many international treaty lines right there. Eating... Like... It's not even... Bebas are sentient, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> yep. You'll see them. <laughs> yeah, but like totally sentient. They can talk and stuff. <laughs> you then add some sugar and spices, get steaming coals from Mount Pyre and bacon. For the finishing touch, we even add the famed Dragon's Glory. How about it? Doesn't that tempt your appetite just hearing about it? It's a great day and I've scored a good place to sell. They'll sell like hotcakes today. Okay, this part. Take a look at this. Would you take a look at this? It's a fortune teller. I'm gonna start with Surge's fortune because this is gonna be very, very interesting. <laughs> Who might you be? Fortunes be good, fortunes be bad. Anything from reading your destiny to searching for the missing. Do you wish your fortune to be read? Yes. So we'll start with Surge. <laughs> Well, this is interesting. You're not dead or anything, are you? Has anybody called you back from the great beyond? You just might be the key to the destruction of this entire planet. I can't say for sure, but fate seems to have a great task for you. Be careful now, boy. <clears throat> well, the future is something that only you can create for yourself. No need to mind it too much. So she she is actually a real deal. He is dead in this world. And uh, he is very important for the destruction of this uh, planet. What about Mojo? There is someone 
No, a thatch of straw that is most dear to you in this vicinity. Huh, I never had him in the party, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that means. John will know. It says you will not find a boyfriend for a long time. Fortune telling is such a merciless thing. How rude. Look, this is another world. They're not in a relationship here. She First, you gotta convince her that you're the guy who died. That is all. She's kind of like Norstein Beckler. Uh, what? From Chrono Cross. Yahoo! From Chrono Trigger. Uh -huh. The magician hands. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, in the horror, Tent of Horror, yeah. Who's saying that? Hello there, come and see for yourself. This is the prize of all prizes. A rare catch. A live mermaid. This is what you call a real treasure. Remember that, kids. Unfortunately, this one isn't for sale. She's my most valuable item. That's also a demi human. So, what do you think? This isn't some stuffed animal or anything. She's really alive. Her pure, cl clear skin. It's like it's made from crystal. Her gem like eyes. She's the ultimate collector's item. Phew! Nature's creations are indeed great. Such a beautiful thing. <laughs> Is this thing really alive? Hey, come on, look over this way. Oh, how beautiful she is. There she is. There he is. He threw rocks at him. Ouch! Yo! Hey, you. You think this is really fun? How would ch... So, okay, here's an interesting tidbit before we move on. Grams doesn't know this, and if maybe Delmar doesn't know, I don't know. I've mentioned it, and I'll mention it a few more times throughout the stream, but because you have 45 playable characters, the developers were quite crafty about how they're gonna do like if you have a different person in your party they're gonna say sometimes the same sentence in the same um in the same situation so because all a lot of these party members like Korcha here have different accents or speech things or stuff like that um instead of writing text for each of them so if this guy is in the party he'd say this way if this person is in the party they would say this way they made a script in the program they would they was tasked with giving them accents so to say so as we as we recruit more people into our um into the party you'll see different accents and different manners of speaking different uh vernaculars they're all in the same situation a script actually chooses like de decides okay so this person has this accent it takes the base text and modifies modifies it so that it sounds like this person would say it which is just it still blows my mind even today yeah what a way to save space remember this game came out on two cds in the year 2000 which was which was a big back then. Not every game is like Final Fantasy 8 to 9, four discs spanning. Yeah. But I, it's impressive what they did here with only two discs. Zdravo, Natsu, zdravo. Zdravo, srećo moja. Šta radiš, Natsu? Natsu na mitu, to je preslatko. How would ya feel? How would ya? <laughs> would ya? How would ya feel if you were trapped in a tank like that? Being stared at every day, huh? Yikes, it's Korcha, run! Korcha, not you again. Don't go, don't you, no, don't you go bothering my customers. This is no place for the likes of you. Just leave. Chuck, shut up. What customers? You're selling a bunch of bull. Why didn't you keep the tank uncovered when I showed up? Hey, everybody, this shop is a bunch of baloney. Shut your mouth. You don't, don't you say such ridiculous things. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really tired. It's hard to read properly, so forgive me. 
Get back to your demi-human friends. <laughs> I wouldn't take that from a sleazebag like you. Hey, you guys, you're not from around here, eh? Don't you wander around too much or you're gonna get burned. Just watch your back. Whoosh, and off he goes. Jumps into the ship below, I love that. Off he goes on his little boat. We're gonna use that boat later. That's Korcha. He's from Galdov. I wonder why he hangs around here in Termina all the time. You shouldn't mess with the likes of him. I tell you, he's nothing but trouble. Okay, Merchant of Tricks. Trade, you say? Goods for unwanted elements, you say? Oh, it's like... Carapace. That's, um... There you go, Monster Shell. It's the shell. It's... It's like what some creatures have, like crabs have it as their shell. It's called carapace. I think it's carapace. Remember in Chrono Trigger when we were in prehistorical era and we traded with the prehistorical people? This is developed from that system, I believe. And you need these things to make weapons and stuff. Odmara Gladi TV. So, Yubi is an ass. Okay. Ah, uh, I overslept and this corner's the only place open. To make things worse, the shrines are just past this point. They're called shrines, but they're really just a bunch of graves. I feel a bit uneasy. It's rumored that a possessed giant and a girl live in a shack near the shrines. Wow, big bro's got a Great place to open up shop. That spot's ideal for roadside merchants like us. Oops, no time to lose. I gotta hurry and set up myself. Please, come back a little later. Shrine area. Would those not paying respects please refrain from entering? Nah, it's just a recommendation, I'm sure. Oh, wonderful. What business brings you here? There are only shrines here. You shouldn't disturb the resting place of the brave. This is no place for outsiders to roam around. I don't mean to be harsh, but if you have no business here, leave now. Sure, that's also a recommendation. Oh, that's Riddle. So, remember Riddle from... Uh, from Radical Dreamers. Uh, Link's oh, adopted yeah, daughter. Riddell. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so she was out of flowers. That is unfortunate. Aww. Then let us pray without any flowers for today. Hmm? Is that a bellflower you have there? Would you be so kind as to give it to us? We need a bellflower for our prayer. Give it for free, ask for money or... Sorry! For free? Are you sure? I thank you deeply. Please, let me offer you my gratitude as well. The souls that rest beneath this sword love this flower in life. That is why we always bring some when we pray here. Dario, here is a bellflower that you used to love so much. Soon the flower seeds shall sprout. Grow leaves and blue fl bloom flowers everywhere, and we shall age another year while you will remain the same in memory. Father, brother, 
It is such a mystery. The sword never rusts, even when left in the rain. It seems as if the souls of, the, of its masters live within it. You know which sword it is? No, Einlancer, the one from Radical Dreamers. Do you not think so, Glenn? Yes, I have engraved my, in my memory the lives of my father and brother, who had wielded the sacred sword Einlancer. Let us hope that is true. What do you mean by that? Miss Riddle, I cannot allow you, even you to... Do you think not do you not think there is something odd about the dragoons of late? Daddy's face shows such anguish, and even Karsh was saying he was sent on a ghost hunt. Miss Riddle, see how everything connects, like random things you hear, it all get boils to the main story somehow. I love it. The more you talk to people around, the more you'll know. I mean, it's like in any RPG, but I just love how the scenario was written in this game. Yeah. Everyone has been acting oddly ever since that beastly guest arrived at the manor. Ha ha! You know who that is? Hmm. Glenn, promise me to always keep the unclouded truth in sight. Do not be swayed by the masses. The splendor of the Einlancer must not be tarnished. As you wish. <laughs> huh? Oh, forgive me. I just found it a little awkward to hear you say such words. <laughs> hmm. Miss Riddle, a chill wind has risen. Shall we return to the manor? He kind of looks like Glenn, Frog Glenn, doesn't he? Yes, of course. We could totally skip this as well. Could have totally skipped this. No, it's her dress. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of mermaidy, and the uh, grave uh, grave site is just looks like a shell. But can we go there? Oh, we can towards Corsica. How did we they leave? And that guy rushed and hid as soon as I got there. It was a hilarious sight. Hiya, hiya, that's great. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oops, I've got customers. Sorry, I'll get you some big fish next time you come by. All right, Korcha, but are they really going to be big this time? You only ever catch, catch small fry. Your boating skills are first class, but your fishing skills suck. Ah, shut up. See ya. Aha. Uh, I'm not streaming during the week. I'm not streaming this at least over the weekend while you're working. That's why I asked when you're working to make the schedule for next week. So I'm going to try to do it. So it's important that to have Lupka, yourself, and Sally here, Sasha. So yeah, I'll try to have it so you don't miss anything. Yeah, we don't have to 100% it in the first time. It's like. I'm just very glad he wants yeah, to do this. Yeah, that's oh, that's true. Part, yeah. For yeah. Oh, it's you guys. You're tourists, right? The festival is a waste of time. My name's Korcha. I'm here. I'm here from Galdov, working as a ferryman. I can take you anywhere you like with this boat. I take money, but don't worry, it's not that much. My boating skills are quite famous around here. I guarantee a comfortable ride. We're a little busy, so maybe next time. All right. If you ever want to get somewhere by boat, swing by. Aww. Yes, he's also gonna be a party member. Yeah, we did. We started this game. I forget. My first time I played, I think I started with. 
can't remember who it was. I think it was Greco, the wrestler, who we we're about to meet here. Why is Greco not a <laughs> Why is Greco not a gecko? That's the question of the day. Blah, I'm st where am I stuck? Yep. Yeah, it's um, it's hand drawn as far as I'm aware. I'm sorry, Greco is out on an errand to Fossil Valley. Please come back a little later. Wait, is he? How did we miss him then? Are those dumbbells? Yep. He's a wrestler. No, don't 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 put them down. How do I exercise? Oh, you actually run slower while you wear them, while you carry them. Get it? Cause they're heavy. <laughs> oh, it's oh! I didn't even see her. I thought I was reading from the fucking cupboard. Okay, yeah. She's also recruit. No, she's not recruitable, but. Do you get anything from this? Oh, I feel lighter. You actually feel lighter after that. <laughs> Someone we oh. I should just jump into the river and... Oh, uh, uh, don't get me wrong, since the weather is so hot, I could... Just thought I could... I might be... It might be cool to jump into the river. The dragoons up at Mount Pyre must be acting up... Dragons up at the Mount Pyre must be acting up this year. Huh? You're asking if there's a really a dragon there? No, no, that's just a folk tale. Besides, who wants to climb up that mountain anyway? Unless you're some kind of crazy climber, that is. It's making me sweat just think talking about it. That's the that's the fortune teller. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's the smithy. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna ma meet Van and go. Like eleven? Was it eleven? Really? I have n I haven't got a clue really. <laughs> Talk to him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> that perception failure. Me, I love boats, but I can't become a sailor because I get seasick. That's why I declined to become a ship's craftsman. Decided to become a ship craftsman and build the fastest and awesomest boat ever made. So my first step is to watch all the boats here for research. Research and research. Ain't I smart? Out of all the boats I've seen, that boat at the docks in the, is the best and fastest of them all. I wish I could build one like it. Wood. Huh. Comrade, I need your blood. <laughs> Zip up. Welcome. Okay, he will give her Slavic accent. She totally looks like it. Welcome. This here is the official blacksmith of the Acacia Dragoons. We carry only the best goods. Come and take a look. Can you forge something useful? Oh, shit, yeah. Wait, which one do I have? So, I don't know what the Bessem is, ladle, uh, iron ladle, and so right now I have a bone ladle. It shows like actual chemical elements. You okay, love? You hit your finger. Sorry. I 
There's a lot, there's a weapon for everyone, but uh, what's for him? Copper glove. Oh, it shows if it's gonna. Okay. I need, I need carapace. Copper. Should I make a better sword for him? I don't know much about it, really. <laughs> we need leather for his copper glove. Well, let's remember him. Oh, it's for both of them. They share the weapon. Cool. Or iron glove. Because this will be filled with characters. Yep. What do you mean? Yeah. Third and fourth. Four. Yeah, four rows. There's 45 of them. No, I got 70. No, no. I'm not sure. Only 10 or 11. We can't make anything else for them for now, okay. Ah, she's got a different accent. Do ye have any iron with ye? Wait, who's, which accent is that? Do ye? I don't know. Okay, she can, she can be Slavic. We've been out of it for the longest time. We could make stronger items if only we had iron. <laughs> so what do I want? I want to equip his thing. Yeah, I'm too tired for this. I want to. I'll, I'll end the stream as soon as I finish with Termina. Oh, cool! So not just your, not just your uh, attack goes up. Your accuracy goes up as well. I got a sea swallow, a large ore made from a giant fish bone. Just made out of copper. How are you holding up there, John? What do you want? This ain't no show. If you got business, take it to the counter. Hey, don't tell me you want your apprentice under Master Zappa. Shoot, beat it. My master ain't gonna take any other apprentice beside me. Where's Pierre? Pierre, my man. Oh, he's in the yeah, he's in the in the yard. <laughs> Outside in the yard. Oh, in the yard. Oh, how many times do I have to say? Oh, he, he's he's Scottish. There you go. They're Scottish. Expressions. How many times do I have to say? It? Then I'll add the customer back here. I can't do that accent, but I'll try. How many years have you been me wife? So no, no, no accent for us. What's a big ape like, big ape like you doing worrying about such trivial stuff? Don't you be complaining up a storm over just one or two customers coming to talk to you. There's not one or two, there's three. Ah, you'll never can the delicate heart of a craftsman like yours truly. I didn't expect a layman like you to ken what I'm saying, but the art of smitten may seem only like a physical labor, but it requires far more mental prowess. Every time the hammer strikes, a wee bit of my soul goes with it. I guess what I'm saying is, yes, so is what makes yes makes the sword. So if ye standing there yapping and distracting me, I cannot focus my soul into the steel. Jack can if so then get going yeah it's that, yeah for my first try at a Scot Scottish accent sure ah why can you now leave me be the swords it's not no good now time to start over he's gonna melt it oh sorry I fucked your thing up man 
take your business to the counter, can? Huh? That nail of yours is a fine piece of work. Like say it's the work of a skilled craftsman. I there's no mistaking it. What why did he say that? I never I never did this. How many things there are there to find in this game? Like fifteen playthroughs ain't enough. Yeah. There he is! There's my man. Yeah. Yep. There's a man? Yep. Okay. Swordsmanship is a beautiful as a hose. The hose ambition hidden beneath is beauty. I gotta give him a little Ah this <laughs> word <laughs> These words fit more perfectly. Oh, pardon me, Monsieur. Moi, I forgot to introduce myself. M my name is Pierre. I am renting this room for Monsieur Zappa. I have lost my precious medal of heroism. I am on my way to see this General of Viper, but without it, I will certainly be turned away at her gate. Sacre bleu. What is a hero like moi to do? I imagine it more like speaking like a Percy. I... I can't do this accent, uh, and uh, uh, can I? Let me try. Pierre, talk to me, my man. Mon ami. I have lost my precious medal of heroism. I am on my way to see the, this general wiper. Heroism. General wiper, but viper, viper. Without it, I will certainly be turned away at the gate. Sucker blue, what is a hero like moi to do? Oh, that rhymes, man. You can start writing songs while we write Find Your Metal. Viper Cup, Tournament of Swords, Youth Division, second place, Sir Karsh. Oh, so he's their kid, I'm assuming. The guy we beat up. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Sacre bleu. Mommy, mommy, why is that madman's? <laughs> oh, look, look. Aww. Why is that madman banging at the window? I ignore him, honey. He's probably insane. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's funny, but when you think about it, it's devastating. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, the yeah. The brother? No, it's very similar, but it's not him. My long lost Tom brother. Where are you now? Okay, so this is all new to me. Like these, some of these conversations are pretty new. But I, I actually wanted to do that because I know that, but then in the subsequent playthroughs they're different. But that's okay. No. It's totally okay. No. <laughs> no. Uh, r right now almost. That Pierre st staying at Zappa's place says he's a hero, but it sounds fishy. In the first place, the way he talks is just too strange. Anyone that believes him is either too honest or too gullible. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I just found something super! Ta-da! It's cool, ain't it? A shiny metal on my chest! It suits me perfectly! So this, this metal? Yep. It was right there, like uh, right outside the door. I know I'm someone who's looking on for that! No way! Let me have it! Just a little longer! So we're not gonna take it from him? It's kind of, it's a, it's a reference, I think, to Chrono Trigger. Remember when the kid finds the metal that belonged to Frog? <clears throat> when the time comes. <laughs> it is just hopeless. All those, these two are brothers, they're always fighting over something. Mr. Dario and Mr. Glenn once lived here peacefully. Mr. Dario used to watch over Mr. Glenn, and Mr. Glenn respected his big brother more than anyone else. They were poor but happy, thinking only of each other's well-being. 
we can see that just by looking at this room, right? So, Dario died. And, uh... No, no. Dario died. That's whose grave we were on just now. And Glenn is his brother. Dario was with Riddle. She was his sweetheart. And now Glenn is kind of taking care of her. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, are you two listening to me? Gee whiz. Wait, there's something in here. Viper Cup Tournament of Swords, Youth Division, Runner Up, Sir Glenn. And then there's something. Yeah. I'm not talking to Big Brother ever again. They're like Masamune. Viper Cup, Tournament of Swords, Youth Division, first place, Sir Dario. It was Dario. No, Dario and Glenn loved each other. She said that these two that now live in this house are fighting and they're not no example. But, but they're on opposite sides, so I'm just, And kids are on the opposite sides, so I think... I Who's on the opposite sides? Kids. Both the items, their beds, and kids. The beds are together. That's okay, the that's okay, yeah. Are yeah. That's the because they have their corner in the house, and, uh, and they loved each other very much. No, no, it's, it's just these guys don't like each other. I'm not talking to him ever again. Well, he's also a kid, but still. So, Dario, Glenn, and Karsh were the three best swordsmen. We fought Karsh. Oh, wait, there's a drawing there. I just want to check that. I'm gonna be in the Dra Keishi Dragoons, Glenn. Oh, that's what, that's when he was a kid. <laughs> Did we tell him about the medal? I think we'll recruit him when we are supposed to go to the Viper Manor. So I'm gonna finish exploring the town. I'm gonna finish exploring the town, and I'm just guessing, we're just a wild guess, we're gonna meet Kid again when we start leaving the town, and then we're gonna join. I want to make a cool boat like Cordial someday! Okay. Oh my god, it's all, almost 10. Okay, time flies when you're playing Chrono Cross. Are you the young master's friend, or do you wish to see Master Gog? Master Go is presently away, but he will be back shortly. So they're called Van and Go. You can re what? It's the lucky charm, lucky the cat. Yeah. <laughs> Step one, save money. Step two, save money. Skip three and four. Step five, save more money. Okay, that's why he's rich. You can't say it's a skillful work, but it has a certain beauty. Oh. Okay, so he, uh, he wants to be a painter. Surprise, surprise. Looks like it's a, it's a drop carpet. Full of Dragon's Glory. Looks like a floor carpet, yeah. No, drop carpet. Ah. Floor carpet? <laughs> oh, hi, lady. Hi, lady. Hi, lady. Yeah. We should meet him somewhere here. All sad. Okay. 
John's been awfully quiet. I can't believe there are no items to pick up here. Like anywhere. Or secrets to behold. There he is. Ah, okay, then I misunderstood. Concept, you're doing some concept art for your character, expressing this stuff. Okay. The next stream. Okay, okay. Under the stairs. Thanks, man. <laughs> he knows this on the top of his head. It's a lot of... I like this a lot more than actually looking at the walkthrough. Yeah. That's that's the reason why I like Final Fantasy XI and Resident Evil Outbreak so much. They're both games made to where you learn by sharing experiences. Isn't there a white kitty? Here. Strabo Yes, the Oh, she's adorable. Sure, sure, okay. I just need to finish Termina and we'll do it. <laughs> Bother. That is not it. Something is missing. I believe I am on the right track, however. He needs a poshier accent. What is your opinion? But is it art? <laughs> or is it? I think it's good. You really think so? Why, thank you. But I still need to hone my skills a little more. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, father, uh, when did you come home? Van, Van's father, go. <laughs> oh, I came back just a moment ago. This ship dock, the ship docked ahead of schedule. How have you been? After a short break, I shall be on my way again. Oh, father, off to another business trip. Yes, that's right. This is another important business opportunity. I shall be gone for a while again. Why don't you paint less and start studying accounting for a change? You'll never make a living off of painting. Oh. If there is anything you need, tell the maid. She shall give you some money. Well, I'm off. <coughs> Came to see his son, said hi, said bye. What a loving father. Father had promised to go see the festival with me, but then he does not really care about the promises he makes. I do not believe Father even notices the view here. The colors of the sea and the sky far surpass the beauty of those gems he collects. I do wonder if he really uh, was a painter in his youth. It is rather hard to believe. Wait, one more time. You gotta talk to people twice here. Blip. <laughs> Oh, we had one of those. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized. Let me refresh the chat. I forgot. Like, Jesus, I've been here for four hours already. Doesn't feel like that. Doesn't feel like that to you? Yeah. Are you having fun? Are you having fun there? Oh, okay. 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 No. Matus, I'm oh, okay. That could be that. No, Vans, Vans, a boy, as far as I know. Oh, there is, there is, look who's writing. Okay, we did the, everything there. Uh, is there another town, part of town? I think there's just one more. Yeah, you were. I said. <laughs> yeah. When we were starting the stream, I said, you know, I'm tired. It's probably gonna be a short stream, maybe two hours. She said, no way. You can't play it for that short. And I said, yeah, of course I can. What do you mean? 
Did I answer? Uh, yeah, I did. Van's, Van's a boy. Van's a boy. I'm here to polish your statue again. Wait, what? Oh, that's Viper statue. All right. Oh no, wait. That's that should be like someone all squeaky clean. It's got to be extra clean for the coming festivities. Have you folks come to see the Viper Festival? Termina is peaceful thanks to the watchful eye of Master Viper. With that said, of course, the real Master Viper resides in his manor along with his Acacia Dragoons. If you'll allow me to brag a little bit, I was invited to the manor a while back. It is a magnificent place. There is a heaven on earth, that would be it. The manor is beautiful and its design incorporates the surrounding terrain to its advantage, making it an impenetrable fortress. <coughs> Forgive me for just a second, I've been talking. On top of that, there are powerful soldiers standing guard in front of the main gates who can destroy any monster with just one blow. Well, an upright citizen like myself might be invited to the manor's garden party, but not so for you folks. The most you will get is a cold reception from the gate guards. Ho ho ho! Ah, wait, 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 wait. I forgot one thing. There she is! <clears throat> pardon me, pardon me. Wow. Okay. Talking on stuff for four hours, not, not that easy. Tell him that you understand, okay. Alright, that's settled. We gotta sneak into Wiper Manor. You gotta have found out what the Acacia Dragoons are up to, right? And why that car's bloke was trying to capture ya. I got... I forgot... <laughs> I've got some business there as well, so I'll go along, along with ya. How about it, Serge? Okay, let's go. It's the obvious choice, right? According to, the, to Grandpa here, this Viper Manor is a bloody big place which also means it'll be easy to break into. There's gotta be more than one way in. We don't plan this right, it'll cost us our lives. Oh yeah, Serge, I'll leave this in your hands, just in case. It's a teleporter. This is a really handy gadget that allows you to exchange party members from afar. The way you use it, it, it is... Ah, forget it. Check it out for yourself, I hate explaining the details. Serge received the teleporter. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Want to put Kid and Lena in? Uh, no, Lena and Fuck. No kid? You gotta, you gotta have Kid there. Yep. Let's not forget elements from... Not partial, but from Mojo. <coughs> yeah, I need her for the matter. I'm glad you love her, sis. I never used steel. So, here's a fun fact. My first time using steel, just because I was dumb, I, I played these games, like RPGs, forcibly for the story, not the gameplay. So I think the first time I started using steel was replaying Final Fantasy 9 and what else? No, Final Fantasy 12. Replaying Final Fantasy 12, I realized the potential of steel. Until then, I was like, I'm not gonna steal. So remove all from Mojo. 
for the kid. She's already got some of her own. So red magma bomb fireball. She's got there we go. Pilfer. Auto allocate for kid only. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm pretty good with that. You stealer! The way you can have a higher chance to steal. The way you can have a higher chance to steal is equip her with something that has the highest hit chance percentage. That makes sense. Yeah, so this is gonna be the first time I'm using Pilfer in this game. <clears throat> Wait, equipment? Equipment, kid. Let's not forget. How do you... Can you go a whole page? I guess not. Can you de-equip him? Unequip all accessories. Yeah, that's what I want. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's not forget the stairs, what he said. Me? No, I'm not waiting for anyone. I'm just too cool to hang with anyone else. <laughs> okay, sure, sure thing, kid. Look at the 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 light. The chimney at the house on the left, behind the chimney, he says. And that is how the six great dragoons sealed away evil and restored peace to the land. The end. Mama, do dragoons really exist? No, oh, that's dragons. Do dragons really exist? How big are they? Oh, silly, this is a fairy tale. Do the old people made it up. But Mama, Korcha says dragoons still exist. Dragons. I'm sorry, dragons. Are you still playing with that boy? How many times have I told you to stay away from him? It's Hocus Pocus like that that's keeping Goldov in the Dark Ages. Where in the world is there such a thing as a dragon tear? I'm sorry, Mama, but Korcha's stories are fun to listen to. The story he told last time about Master Viper's manner was so scary. No buts. Anything that boy says is a flat-out lie. Any child that believes in such nonsense is not a child of this family. No way! I belong to this family! <laughs> there, there. You're not going to get better if you don't listen to me. Now, if you promise me you won't play with Korcha anymore, I will tell you the next story. Uh, 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 I promise, so please tell me the next story. Yes, yes, what should I read you next? I guess we'll never find out. <clears throat> yeah, dragoons. Dragoons are another thing. We had so many dragoons here that I keep reading dr dragons as dragoons. Papa's ship, Mary. <clears throat> the acacia dragoons that we, we met, met earlier. It's art. Is that a panda? That's a fucking panda. Now, where's that chimney he's talking about? Maybe behind the house, actually? Outside, okay. Okay. Well, who says that? It's hot standing in the sun, so I'm staying in the shade to cool off. I'm not some kind of hoodlum or something, so don't get me wrong. Do you get my drift? He said when the time comes, tell him he understand. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, you understand me? You're a nice guy. Here, take this. Oh, look at it. I didn't have this one. I know. <gasps> it's Aladdin. It's fucking Aladdin. You see that? Look at the lamp as the cursor. cursor. Yeah. Oh, it's or maybe it's a teapot because it's called tea for three. I'm never too sure. Thanks, John. How's this? Hmm, maybe a little more to the left. Just look around. Flowers decorate the town when the, time fest when the festival comes. 
Don't you think it's romantic to have the whole town filled with flowers? It's our way of showing our gratitude towards Master Viper. We are really thankful to Master Viper for our town's peace. Oh, you silly boy. That's your right, isn't it? Oops, hee hee hee, my bad. So what are they doing inside? I want to see. <clears throat> Alright. Well, I still got to check under the stairs. Kind of looks like Cloud's house from Final Fantasy VII. Yes, who might you be? Grandma, there are travelers passing through. My, my, so sorry. My eyes have become really weak in my old age, and I thought that my grandson had come back. Do you know who her grandson is? I'm gonna spoil that because it's horrific, but no, I'll say it. Remember the skull we found? Whose pieces we gotta assemble? Yeah, we're gonna bring him to her once we assemble him. Mm. <clears throat> my grandson was such a cute boy. He was really plump and cheerful and loved to make people laugh. That's why he has clown makeup on his skull, but roll with it. That's why the boy joined the circus and became a clown. For the first few years, he wrote letters to me almost daily. He always said how gratifying the work was, although it was very challenging. One day, his letters suddenly stopped coming. I haven't heard from him since. I hope he wasn't in an accident or something. You're always... You're never useless, John, so... Don't think that. I just pray that I might see his cheerf cheerful face once more before the heavens come to claim my soul. I think if I use him here... Grandma keeps waiting for her grandson to come back. She always tells me stories about him, but we don't know where he is. If you ever meet him in your travels, on your travels, please tell him Grandma is waiting for him. I believe his name is Skelly. His name is Skelly. <gasps> what if I show her the skull? Am I gonna f freak her out? Or what is this creepy thing? So I gotta assemble him. Yeah, that gives you a hint. Teleporter. Yeah, everything is detailed. Big egg. It hatches a party member at a certain location. It says. <laughs> okay, that's cool. You can see people outside. Oh, wait. They're turning. What's going on? Would you like to buy a Viper Churro? How much is it? Only 100 G each. Hmm, isn't that a bit too much? Maybe next time. Oh, come on. Oh. What was that about? So let's check under the stairs, as the man said. Wait, where was Van Gogh's house? Like, Van and Go. <laughs> How the fuck do I get the medal for Pierre? Pierre? He said under the stairs. Like here. It's the only place I haven't checked. Profiteer purse. I think that, like... Uh, that makes your. Wait, no, it's a. Uh, it makes your money multiply or something. I did. Wait, where's the purse? 
Oh, it's it's an it's yeah. Okay, I remember now. It's accessory. Slightly increases the amount of gold received at the end of the battle. Let's give it to him for now. We did talk to her. Oh wait, she has a new text. In his youth, the master was a promising artist, but since her ladyship had a frail constitution, she fell ill after the birth of the young master. Back then, the master was very poor. Without money to buy medicine, he could only watch her ladyship pass away. He changed that day. He started working constantly without a moment's rest. My master's devotion to collecting all those works of art must be due to dreams he couldn't fulfill when he was younger. Oh, don't let this get out. I would be scolded if he caught me saying anything like this. Okay. Now we just need that medal for good old Percy. I think we need to go... Just confirm this for me, John, please. We need to go to uh, the Viper Manor gate, gate, talk to them, then come back and recruit one of the people, right? I know someone who's looking for that. <gasps> well, I'd be a thief if I didn't return lost items. And I want to be a hero, not a thief. Okay, here you go. Okay, so you gotta have kid for that to happen. All right. And now we recruit good old Pierre. Pierre. Pierre and Pierre. I am on my way to see this General Viper soon. From what I hear, there is a vacancy among the four divas of the of the Rachel Dragoons. Such a position is perfect for such a splendid swordsman as moi. A one graceful flash of Monsoir will surely have them saluting moi as the guest of honor. But I have lost my precious medal, symbol of heroism. Without it, I will certainly be turned away at the gate. Sacre bleu, what am I to do? Wait, do I have the... I should have the medal now, right? Yeah, there we go. We can look at it because we're gonna. Oh, it's beautiful. Three piece heroes collection set to prove the wearer is a true hero. Yeah, you, those are actually his personal accessories. No, don't talk to him, but show him the medal. Pierre, mon ami, how's your medal? Oui, monsieur, monsieur, that is my medal. Merci, merci. Thank you. Ah, la la. What a darling you are. Serge returned Hero's Medal to Pierre. Now I can finally head to v Viper Manor. Okay, we'll meet him in front of there. So, we do by this. <laughs> Thanks, sis. With this, we eliminated the other possibilities for other two party members who could accompany yeah. us. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Dingy, 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 dingy. I think that's it. We've done everything in Termina. We healed in the end. All right. Next up, Viper Manor. But that is a story for another time. Because this is where we'll end our adventure for today. Let's see if we can raid someone. This is a good session. Lifted my spirits, really. Thank you. What am I doing in the modem? I'm looking for fucking Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Slim is playing Zelda Link to the Past. Let's raid him. Let's raid Slimmy. Old Jimmy Slimmy.
Thanks, John. Thank you, man. <laughs> thank you. Thank no, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah. So thank, thanks everyone. Thanks everyone for watching, sis. Thank Gramps you. there. Gramps for for dropping by. Bye. It gets better. This was a slow session, but it gets so much. When the story starts rolling, it's wonderful. Um, yeah, he was there in the entire stream. Props for Gramps here. He didn't go to bed, even though his old age is making him too. John for all the help. Delmar for the music session. And everyone else who was watching. Later for everyone watching on YouTube. Once we publish with this on YouTube in two days as well. Yeah, she was the first one, I think. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> okay, grabs. Good night, everyone. Until next time, stay well. Bye.